Brazil, Portuguese, Brazil, Portuguese pronunciation, officially the Federative Republic of Brazil, Portuguese, Republica Federativa do Brasil, about this sound listen, helpmiddle.info, is the largest country in both South America and Latin America, at 8.5 million square kilometers, 3.2 million square miles, and with over 208 million people. Brazil is the world's fifth largest country by area and the fifth most populous. The capital is Brasilia, and the most populated city is Sao Paulo. The federation is composed of the union of the 26 states, the federal district, and the 5,570 municipalities. It is the largest country to have Portuguese as an official language and the only one in the Americas. It is also one of the most multicultural and ethnically diverse nations due to over a century of mass immigration from around the world. Bounded by the Atlantic Ocean on the east, Brazil has a coastline of 7,491 kilometers, 4,655 miles. It borders all other South American countries except Ecuador and Chile and covers 47.3% of the continent's land area. Its Amazon River Basin includes a vast tropical forest, home to diverse wildlife, a variety of ecological systems, and extensive natural resources spanning numerous protected habitats. This unique environmental heritage makes Brazil one of 17 megadiverse countries, and is the subject of significant global interest and debate regarding deforestation and environmental protection. Brazil was inhabited by numerous tribal nations prior to the landing in 1500 of explorer Pedro Alves Cabral, who claimed the area for the Portuguese Empire. Brazil remained a Portuguese colony until 1808, when the capital of the empire was transferred from Lisbon to Rio de Janeiro. In 1815, the colony was elevated to the rank of kingdom upon the formation of the United Kingdom of Portugal, Brazil and the Algarves. Independence was achieved in 1822 with the creation of the Empire of Brazil, a unitary state governed under a constitutional monarchy and a parliamentary system. The ratification of the first constitution in 1824 led to the formation of a bicameral legislature, now called the National Congress. The country became a presidential republic in 1889 following a military coup d'état. An authoritarian military junta came to power in 1964 and ruled until 1985, after which civilian governance resumed. Brazil's current constitution, formulated in 1988, defines it as a democratic federal republic. Due to its rich culture and history, the country ranks 13th in the world by number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Brazil is considered an advanced emerging economy. It has the 8th largest GDP in the world by both nominal and PPP measures. It is one of the world's major breadbaskets. B. 
being the largest producer of coffee for the last 150 years. It is classified as an upper middle income economy by the World Bank and a newly industrialized country, with the largest share of global wealth in Latin America. Brazil is a regional power and sometimes considered a great or a middle power in international affairs. On account of its international recognition and influence, the country is subsequently classified as an emerging power and a potential superpower by several analysts. Brazil is a founding member of the United Nations, the G20, BRICS, Union of South American Nations, Mercosur, Organization of American States, Organization of Ibero-American States and the Community of Portuguese Language Countries. Etymology It is likely that the word Brazil comes from the Portuguese word for Brazilwood, a tree that once grew plentifully along the Brazilian coast. In Portuguese, Brazilwood is called Pau Brasil, with the word Brasil commonly given the etymology red like an ember, formed from brasa, ember, and the suffix seal, from iculum or ilium. As Brazilwood produces a deep red dye, it was highly valued by the European textile industry and was the earliest commercially exploited product from Brazil. Throughout the 16th century, massive amounts of Brazil wood were harvested by indigenous peoples, mostly Tupi, along the Brazilian coast, who sold the timber to European traders, mostly Portuguese, but also French, in return for assorted European consumer goods. The official Portuguese name of the land, in original Portuguese records, was the land of the Holy Cross, Terra de Santa Cruz, but European sailors and merchants commonly called it simply the land of Brazil, Terra do Brasil, because of the Brazil wood trade, the popular appellation eclipsed and eventually supplanted the official Portuguese name. Some early sailors called it the land of parrots. In the Guarani language, an official language of Paraguay, Brazil is called Pindorama. This was the name the indigenous population gave to the region, meaning land of the palm trees. History. Main articles, history of Brazil and timeline of Brazilian history. Pre-Cabralan era. Cave painting at Sierra de Ague Pivara National Park. This area has the largest concentration of prehistoric sites in the Americas. Some of the earliest human remains found in the Americas, Luzia woman, were found in the area of Pedro Leopoldo, Minas Gerais and provide evidence of human habitation going back at least 11,000 years. The earliest pottery ever found in the Western Hemisphere was excavated in the Amazon Basin of Brazil and radiocarbon dated to 8,000 years ago, 6,000 BC. The pottery was found near Santorum and provides evidence that the tropical forest region supported a complex prehistoric culture. The Marajoara culture flourished on Marajo in the Amazon Delta from 800s to 1400s, developing sophisticated pottery, social stratification, large populations, mound building, and complex social formations such as chiefdoms. Around the time of the Portuguese arrival, the territory of current day Brazil had an estimated indigenous population of 7 million people, mostly semi nomadic who subsisted on hunting, fishing, gathering, and migrant agriculture. The indigenous population of Brazil comprised several large indigenous ethnic groups, for example the Tupis, Guaranis, Jis and Arawaks. The Tupi people were subdivided into the Tupinacans and Tupinambas, and there were also many subdivisions of the other groups. Before the arrival of the Europeans, the boundaries between these groups and their subgroups were marked by wars that arose from differences in culture, language and moral beliefs. These wars also involved large-scale military actions on land and water, with cannibalistic rituals on prisoners of war. While heredity had some weight, leadership status was more subdued over time, than allocated in succession ceremonies and conventions. Slavery among the Indians had a different meaning than it had for Europeans, since it originated from a diverse socio-economic organization, in which asymmetries were translated into kinship relations. Portuguese colonization. Main articles, Colonial Brazil, War of the Imbobas, and in Confidencia Minra. Representation of the landing of Pedro Alves Cabral in Porto Seguro, 1500. Painting of 1922. The land now called Brazil was claimed for the Portuguese Empire on the 22nd of April 1500, with the arrival of the Portuguese fleet commanded by Pedro Alves Cabral. The Portuguese encountered indigenous peoples divided into several tribes, 
most of whom spoke languages of the Tupigarani family, and fought among themselves. Though the first settlement was founded in 1532, colonization effectively began in 1534, when King John III of Portugal divided the territory into the 15 private and autonomous captaincy colonies of Brazil. However, the decentralized and unorganized tendencies of the captaincy colonies proved problematic and in 1549 the Portuguese king restructured them into the Governorate General of Brazil, a single and centralized Portuguese colony in South America. In the first two centuries of colonization, indigenous and European groups lived in constant war, establishing opportunistic alliances in order to gain advantages against each other. By the mid-16th century, cane sugar had become Brazil's most important export and slaves purchased in sub-Saharan Africa, in the slave market of Western Africa, not only those from Portuguese allies of their colonies in Angola and Mozambique, had become its largest import, to cope with plantations of sugar cane, due to increasing international demand for Brazilian sugar. Painting showing the arrest of Tyrodents, he was sentenced to death for his involvement in the best known movement for independence in colonial Brazil. Painting of 1914 By the end of the 17th century, sugarcane exports began to decline, and the discovery of gold by Bandarantes in the 1690s would become the new backbone of the colony's economy fostering a Brazilian gold rush which attracted thousands of new settlers to Brazil from Portugal and all Portuguese colonies around the world. This increased level of immigration in turn caused some conflicts between newcomers and old settlers. Portuguese expeditions known as Banderas gradually advanced the Portugal colonial original frontiers in South America to approximately the current Brazilian borders. In this era other European powers tried to colonize parts of Brazil in incursions that the Portuguese had to fight, notably the French in Rio during the 1560s, in Maranhão during the 1610s, and the Dutch in Bahia and Pernambuco, during the Dutch-Portuguese War, after the end of Iberian Union. The Portuguese colonial administration in Brazil had two objectives that would ensure colonial order and the monopoly of Portugal's wealthiest and largest colony, to keep under control and eradicate all forms of slave rebellion and resistance such as the Quilombo of Palmares, and to repress all movements for autonomy or independence, such as the Minas Conspiracy, United Kingdom with Portugal. The acclamation of King João VI of the United Kingdom of Portugal, Brazil and the Algarves in Rio de Janeiro, the 6th of February 1818. In late 1807, Spanish and Napoleonic forces threatened the security of continental Portugal, causing Prince Regent João in the name of Queen Maria I, to move the royal court from Lisbon to Rio de Janeiro. There they established some of Brazil's first financial institutions, such as its local stock exchanges, and its national bank, additionally ending the Portuguese monopoly on Brazilian trade and opening Brazil to other nations. In 1809, in retaliation for being forced into exile, the Prince Regent ordered the Portuguese conquest of French Guiana. With the end of the Peninsular War in 1814, the courts of Europe demanded that Queen Maria I and Prince Regent João return to Portugal, deeming it unfit for the head of an ancient European monarchy to reside in a colony. In 1815, to justify continuing to live in Brazil, where the royal court had thrived for the prior six years, the Crown established the United Kingdom of Portugal, Brazil and the Algarves, thus creating a pluricontinental transatlantic monarchic state. However, such a ploy didn't last long, since the leadership in Portugal, resentful of the new status of its larger colony, continued to require the return of court to Lisbon, as postulated by the Liberal Revolution of 1820, and also groups of Brazilians, impatient for practical and real changes, still demanded independence and a republic, as demonstrated by the 1817 Pernambucan Revolt. In 1821, as a demand of revolutionaries who had taken the city of Porto, D. João Vai was unable to hold out any longer, and departed for Lisbon. There he swore an oath to the new constitution, leaving his son, Prince Pedro da Alcantara, as regent of the Kingdom of Brazil. Independent Empire. Main Articles Independence of Brazil and Empire of Brazil. Declaration of the Brazilian Independence by Prince Pedro, 
later Emperor Pedro I, on the 7th of September 1822. Tensions between Portuguese and Brazilians increased, and the Portuguese Cortes, guided by the new political regime imposed by the 1820 Liberal Revolution, tried to re-establish Brazil as a colony. The Brazilians refused to yield, and Prince Pedro decided to stand with them, declaring the country's independence from Portugal on 7 September 1822. A month later, Prince Pedro was declared the first emperor of Brazil, with the royal title of Dom Pedro I, resulting in the foundation of the Empire of Brazil. The Brazilian War of Independence, which had already begun along this process, spread through northern, northeastern regions and in Cisplatina province. The last Portuguese soldiers surrendered on 8 March 1824, Portugal officially recognized Brazil on 29 August 1825. On 7 April 1831, worn down by years of administrative turmoil and political dissent with both liberal and conservative sides of politics, including an attempt of republican secession, and unreconciled to the way that absolutists in Portugal had given in the succession of King John VI. Pedro I went to Portugal to reclaim his daughter's crown, abdicating the Brazilian throne in favor of his five-year-old son and heir, who thus became the empire's second monarch, with the royal title of Dom Pedro II. Pedro II, Emperor of Brazil between 1831 and 1889. As the new emperor could not exert his constitutional powers until he became of age, a regency was set up by the National Assembly. In the absence of a charismatic figure who could represent a moderate face of power, during this period a series of localized rebellions took place, such as the Cabanajam in Graubera province, the Male Revolt in Salvador de Bahia, the Belaada, Maranhao, the Sabinada, Bahia, and the Ragamuffin War beginning in Rio Grande do Sul and supported by Giuseppe Garibaldi. These emerged from the dissatisfaction of the provinces with the central power, coupled with old and latent social tensions peculiar to a vast, slaveholding and newly independent nation-state. This period of internal political and social upheaval, which included the Praira revolt in Pernambuco, was overcome only at the end of the 1840s, years after the end of the Regency which occurred with the premature coronation of Pedro II in 1841. During the last phase of the monarchy, internal political debate centered on the issue of slavery. The Atlantic slave trade was abandoned in 1850, as a result of the British Aberdeen Act, but only in May 1888. After a long process of internal mobilization and debate for an ethical and legal dismantling of slavery in the country, was the institution formally abolished. The foreign affairs in the monarchy were basically related to issues with the countries of the southern cone with which Brazil had borders. Long after the Cisplatine War that resulted in independence for Uruguay, Brazil won three international wars during the 58-year reign of Pedro II. These were the Platine War, the Uruguayan War and the devastating Paraguayan War, the largest war effort in Brazilian history. Although there was no desire among the majority of Brazilians to change the country's form of government, on 15 November 1889, in attrition with the majority of army officers, as well as with rural and financial elites, for different reasons, the monarchy was overthrown by a military coup. 15 November is now Republic Day, a national holiday. Early Republic. Main Articles. First Brazilian Republic, Vargas era section Estado Novo, and Second Brazilian Republic. Proclamation of the Republic, 1893, oil on canvas by Benedito Calixto. The early Republican government was nothing more than a military dictatorship, with army dominating affairs both at Rio de Janeiro and in the states. Freedom of the press disappeared and elections were controlled by those in power. Only in 1894, Following the unfoldings of two severe crises, an economic along with a military one, the civilians rose to power staying there until October 1930. If in relation to its foreign policy, the country in this first republican period maintained a relative balance characterized by a success in resolving border disputes with neighboring countries, only broken by the Acre War, 1899-1902, and its involvement in World War I. 1914 to 1918, followed by a failed attempt to exert a prominent role in the League of Nations, internally, from the crisis of Encelimento and the Armada revolts, a prolonged cycle of financial, 
political and social instability began until the 1920s, keeping the country besieged by various rebellions, both civilian and military. In half of the first 100 years of Republic, the army exercised power directly or through figures like Getulio Vargas, center. Soldiers of the Brazilian Expeditionary Force greet Italian civilians in Massa Rosa, during World War II. Little by little, a cycle of general instability sparked by these crises undermined the regime to such an extent, that in the wake of the murder of his running mate, the defeated opposition presidential candidate Getulio Vargas supported by most of the military, successfully led the October 1930 coup. Vargas and the military were supposed to assume power temporarily, but instead closed the Congress, extinguished the Constitution, ruled with emergency powers and replaced the state's governors with their own supporters. In the 1930s, three failed attempts to remove Vargas and his supporters from power occurred. The first was the Constitutionalist Revolution in 1932, led by the Paulist to oligarchy. The second was a communist uprising in November 1935 and the last one a putsch attempt by local fascists in May 1938. The 1935 uprising created a security crisis in which the Congress transferred more power to the executive. The 1937 coup d'etat resulted in the cancellation of the 1938 election, formalized Vargas as dictator, beginning the Estado de Novo era, which was noted for government brutality and censorship of the press. Foreign policy during Vargas years was marked by the antecedents in World War II. Brazil remained neutral until August 1942, when the country entered on the Allied side, after suffering retaliation by Nazi Germany and fascist Italy, in a strategic dispute over the South Atlantic. In addition to its participation in the Battle of the Atlantic, Brazil also sent an expeditionary force to fight in the Italian campaign. With the Allied victory in 1945 and the end of the Nazi fascist regimes in Europe, Vargas's position became unsustainable and he was swiftly overthrown in another military coup, with democracy reinstated by the same army that had ended it 15 years earlier. Vargas committed suicide in August 1954 amid a political crisis after having returned to power by election in 1950. Contemporary Era Main Articles, Military Dictatorship in Brazil and History of Brazil since 1985 Several brief interim governments followed Vargas's suicide. Juscelino Kubitschek became president in 1956 and assumed a conciliatory posture towards the political opposition that allowed him to govern without major crises. The economy and industrial sector grew remarkably but his greatest achievement was the construction of the new capital city of Brasilia, inaugurated in 1960. Kubitschek's successor, Janio Quadros, resigned in 1961 less than a year after taking office. His vice president, João Goulart, assumed the presidency, but aroused strong political opposition and was deposed in April 1964 by a coup that resulted in a military regime. The new regime was intended to be transitory but gradually closed in on itself and became a full dictatorship with the promulgation of the Fifth Institutional Act in 1968. Oppression was not limited to those who resorted to guerrilla tactics to fight the regime, but also reached institutional opponents, artists, journalists and other members of civil society inside and outside the country through the infamous Operation Condor. Despite its brutality, like other authoritarian regimes, due to an economic boom, known as an economic miracle, the regime reached a peak in popularity in the early 1970s. Slowly however, the wear and tear of years of dictatorial power that had not slowed the repression, even after the defeat of the leftist guerrillas, plus the inability to deal with the economic crises of the period and popular pressure, made an opening policy inevitable, which from the regime side was led by Generals Ernst Hoge Eisel and Golbery Ducto E. Silva. With the enactment of the Amnesty Law in 1979, Brazil began a slow return to democracy, which was completed during the 1980s. Civilians returned to power in 1985 when Jose Sani assumed the presidency. He became unpopular during his tenure through failure to control the economic crisis and hyperinflation he inherited from the military regime. Sani's unsuccessful government led to the election in 1989 of the almost unknown Fernando Killer, subsequently impeached by the National Congress in 1992. Killer was succeeded by his vice president, Itamar Franco 
who appointed Fernando Henrique Cardoso Minister of Finance. In 1994, Cardoso produced a highly successful Plano Real, that, after decades of failed economic plans made by previous governments attempting to curb hyperinflation, finally stabilized the Brazilian economy. Cardoso won the 1994 election, and again in 1998. Ulysses Gimmer is holding the constitution of 1988 in his hands. The peaceful transition of power from Cardoso to his main opposition leader, Luis Inácio Lula da Silva, elected in 2002 and re-elected in 2006, was seen as proof that Brazil had achieved a long-sought political stability. However, sparked by indignation and frustrations accumulated over decades from corruption, police brutality, inefficiencies of the political establishment and public service, numerous peaceful protests erupted in Brazil from the middle of first term of Dilma Rousseff, who had succeeded Lula after winning election in 2010. Enhanced by political and economic crises with evidence of involvement by politicians from all the primary political parties and several bribery and tax evasion schemes, with large street protests for and against her, Rousseff was impeached by the Brazilian Congress in 2016. In 2017, the Supreme Court asked for the investigation of 71 Brazilian lawmakers and nine ministers in President Michel Temer's cabinet allegedly linked to the Petrobras corruption scandal. President Temer is himself accused of corruption. In 2018, 62% of the population on the poll claimed that corruption was Brazil's biggest problem. Geography Topographic map of Brazil Brazil occupies a large area along the eastern coast of South America and includes much of the continent's interior, sharing land borders with Uruguay to the south, Argentina and Paraguay to the southwest, Bolivia and Peru to the west, Colombia to the northwest, and Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname and France. French overseas region of French Guiana, to the north. It shares a border with every South American country except Ecuador and Chile. It also encompasses a number of oceanic archipelagos, such as Fernando de Noronha, Rocas Atoll, St. Peter and Paul Rocks, and Trindade and Martim Vaz. Its size, relief, climate, and natural resources make Brazil geographically diverse, including its Atlantic islands. Brazil lies between latitudes 6 degrees N and 34 degrees S, and longitudes 28 degrees and 74 degrees W. Brazil is the fifth largest country in the world, and third largest in the Americas, with a total area of 8,515, 767.049 square kilometers. 3,287,956 square miles, including 55,455 square kilometers, 21,411 square miles, of water. It spans four time zones, from UTC 5 comprising the state of Acre and the westernmost portion of Amazonas, to UTC 4 in the western states, to UTC 3 in the eastern states, the national time, and UTC2 in the Atlantic Islands. Brazil is the only country in the world that has the equator and the Tropic of Capricorn running through it. Brazilian topography is also diverse and includes hills, mountains, plains, highlands, and scrublands. Much of the terrain lies between 200 meters, 660 feet, and 800 meters, 2,600 feet. In elevation, the main upland area occupies most of the southern half of the country. The northwestern parts of the plateau consist of broad, rolling terrain broken by low, rounded hills. Canyon of Canaan de São Francisco, Sergipe, a geological accident carved by the São Francisco River. The southeastern section is more rugged, with a complex mass of ridges and mountain ranges reaching elevations of up to 1,200 meters. 3,900 feet. These ranges include the Manticra and Dispinhasa Mountains and the Sierra du March. In the north, the Guiana Highlands form a major drainage divide, separating rivers that flow south into the Amazon Basin from rivers that empty into the Orinoco River system. In Venezuela, to the north, the highest point in Brazil is the Pico de a Neblino at 2,994 meters, 9,823 feet. 
and the lowest is the Atlantic Ocean. Brazil has a dense and complex system of rivers, one of the world's most extensive, with eight major drainage basins, all of which drain into the Atlantic. Major rivers include the Amazon, the world's second longest river and the largest in terms of volume of water, the Parana and its major tributary the Iguazu, which includes the Iguazu Falls, the Negro, São Francisco, Xingu, Madeira and Tapajos rivers. Climate Brazil map of Köppen climate classification. The climate of Brazil comprises a wide range of weather conditions across a large area and varied topography, but most of the country is tropical. According to the Köppen system, Brazil hosts six major climatic subtypes, desert, equatorial, tropical, semi-arid, oceanic and subtropical. The different climatic conditions produce environments ranging from equatorial rainforests in the north and semi-arid deserts in the northeast, to temperate coniferous forests in the south and tropical savannas in central Brazil. Many regions have starkly different microclimates. An equatorial climate characterizes much of northern Brazil. There is no real dry season, but there are some variations in the period of the year when most rain falls. Temperatures average 25 degrees Celsius, 77 degrees Fahrenheit, with more significant temperature variation between night and day than between seasons. Over central Brazil rainfall is more seasonal, characteristic of a savanna climate. This region is as extensive as the Amazon Basin but has a very different climate as it lies farther south at a higher altitude. In the interior northeast, seasonal rainfall is even more extreme. The semi-arid climatic region generally receives less than 800 mm of rain, most of which generally falls in a period of three to five months of the year and occasionally less than this, creating long periods of drought. Brazil's 1877-78 Grand Seca, Great Drought, the worst in Brazil's history caused approximately half a million deaths. A similarly devastating drought occurred in 1915. South of Bahia, near the coasts, and more southerly most of the state of Sao Paulo, the distribution of rainfall changes, with rain falling throughout the year. The south enjoys subtropical conditions, with cool winters and average annual temperatures not exceeding 18 degrees Celsius, 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit, Winter frosts and snowfall are not rare in the highest areas. Biodiversity and Environment The Amazon Rainforest The most biodiverse rainforest in the world Brazil's larger territory comprises different ecosystems, such as the Amazon Rainforest, recognized as having the greatest biological diversity in the world, with the Atlantic Forest and the Cerrado, sustaining the greatest biodiversity in the south. The Araucaria pine forest grows under temperate conditions. The rich wildlife of Brazil reflects the variety of natural habitats. Scientists estimate that the total number of plant and animal species in Brazil could approach 4 million, mostly invertebrates. Larger mammals include carnivores, pumas, jaguars, ocelots, rare bush dogs, and foxes, and herbivores, peccaries, tapirs, anteaters, sloths, opossums and armadillos. Deer are plentiful in the south, and many species of New World monkeys are found in the northern rainforests. Concern for the environment has grown in response to global interest in environmental issues. Brazil's Amazon Basin is home to an extremely diverse array of fish species, including the red-bellied piranha. Despite its reputation as a ferocious freshwater fish, the red-bellied piranha is actually a generally timid scavenger. Golden Lion Tamarin an endemic animal of Brazil, in the Pozo da Santa's biological reserve. Biodiversity can contribute to agriculture, livestock, forestry and fisheries extraction. However, almost all economically exploited species of plants, such as soybeans and coffee, or animals, such as chickens, are imported from other countries, and the economic use of native species still crawls. In the Brazilian GDP, the forest sector represents just over 1% and fishing 0.4%. The natural heritage of Brazil is severely threatened by cattle ranching and agriculture, logging, mining, resettlement, oil and gas extraction, overfishing, wildlife trade, dams and infrastructure, water pollution, climate change, fire, and invasive species. In many areas of the country, 
the natural environment is threatened by development. The construction of highways has opened up previously remote areas for agriculture and settlement, dams have flooded valleys and inundated wildlife habitats, and mines have scarred and polluted the landscape. At least 70 dams are said to be planned for the Amazon region including the controversial Bilo Monte Hydroelectric Dam. Government and Politics Main Articles, Politics of Brazil, Federal Government of Brazil, and Elections in Brazil. Palacio do Planalto, Plateau Palace, the official workplace of the President of Brazil. The form of government is a democratic federative republic, with a presidential system. The President is both head of state and head of government of the Union and is elected for a four-year term with the possibility of re-election for a second successive term. The current president is Michelle Temer, who replaced Dilma Rousseff after her impeachment. The president appoints the ministers of state, who assist in government. Legislative houses in each political entity are the main source of law in Brazil. The National Congress is the federation's bicameral legislature, consisting of the Chamber of Deputies and the Federal Senate. Judiciary authorities exercise jurisdictional duties almost exclusively. Brazil is a democracy, according to the Democracy Index 2010. The political administrative organization of the Federative Republic of Brazil comprises the Union, the States, the Federal District, and the Municipalities. The Union, the States, the Federal District, and the Municipalities are their spheres of government. The Federation is set on five fundamental principles, sovereignty, citizenship, dignity of human beings, the social values of labor and freedom of enterprise, and political pluralism. The classic tripartite branches of government, executive, legislative and judicial under a checks and balances system, are formally established by the Constitution. The executive and legislative are organized independently in all three spheres of government while the judiciary is organized only at the federal and state and federal district spheres. National Congress, seat of the legislative branch. All members of the executive and legislative branches are directly elected. Judges and other judicial officials are appointed after passing entry exams. For most of its democratic history, Brazil has had a multi-party system proportional representation. Voting is compulsory for the literate between 18 and 70 years old and optional for illiterates and those between 16 and 18 or beyond 70. Together with several smaller parties, four political parties stand out, Workers' Party, PT, Brazilian Social Democracy Party, PSDB, Brazilian Democratic Movement, MDB, and Democrats, Dem. Fifteen political parties are represented in Congress. It is common for politicians to switch parties, and thus the proportion of congressional seats held by particular parties changes regularly. Almost all governmental and administrative functions are exercised by authorities and agencies affiliated to the executive law. Supreme Federal Court of Brazil serves primarily as the constitutional court of the country. Brazilian law is based on the civil law legal system and civil law concepts prevail over common law practice. Most of Brazilian law is codified, although non-codified statutes also represent a substantial part, playing a complementary role. Court decisions set out interpretive guidelines, however, they are seldom binding on other specific cases. Doctrinal works and the works of academic jurists have strong influence in law creation and in law cases. The legal system is based on the federal constitution, promulgated on 5 October 1988, and is the fundamental law of Brazil. All other legislation and court decisions must conform to its rules. As of April 2007, there have been 53 amendments. States have their own constitutions, which must not contradict the federal constitution. Municipalities and the federal district have organic laws, laws organicas, which act in a similar way to constitutions. Legislative entities are the main source of statutes, although in certain matters judiciary and executive bodies may enact legal norms. Jurisdiction is administered by the judiciary entities. Although in rare situations the federal constitution allows the federal senate to pass on legal judgments. There are also specialized military, labor, 
and electoral courts. The highest court is the Supreme Federal Court. This system has been criticized over the last few decades for the slow pace of decision making. Lawsuits on appeal may take several years to resolve and in some cases more than a decade elapses before definitive rulings. Nevertheless, the Supreme Federal Tribunal was the first court in the world to transmit its sessions on television, and also via YouTube. More recently, in December 2009, the Supreme Court adopted Twitter to display items on the day planner of the ministers, to inform the daily actions of the court and the most important decisions made by them. Military. The armed forces of Brazil are the largest in Latin America by active personnel and the largest in terms of military equipment. It consists of the Brazilian Army, including the Army Aviation Command, the Brazilian Navy, including the Marine Corps and Naval Aviation and the Brazilian Air Force. Brazil's conscription policy gives it one of the world's largest military forces, estimated at more than 1.6 million reservists annually. Numbering close to 236,000 active personnel, the Brazilian army has the largest number of armored vehicles in South America, including armored transports and tanks. It is also unique in Latin America for its large, elite forces specializing in unconventional missions the Brazilian Special Operations Command, and the versatile Strategic Rapid Action Force, made up of highly mobilized and prepared Special Operations Brigade, Infantry Brigade Parachutist, 1st Jungle Infantry Battalion, Air Mobile, and 12th Brigade Light Infantry, Air Mobile, able to act anywhere in the country, on short notice to counter external aggression. The state's military police and the military firefighters corps are described as an ancillary forces of the army by the constitution, but are under the control of each state's governor. Brazil's navy, the second largest in the Americas, once operated some of the most powerful warships in the world with the two Minas Gerais class dreadnoughts, which sparked a South American dreadnought race between Argentina, Brazil, and Chile. Today, it is a green water force and has a group of specialized elite in retaking ships and naval facilities, Gramec, units specially trained to protect Brazilian oil platforms along its coast. It's the only navy in Latin America that operates an aircraft carrier, Nassau Paulo, and one of the ten navies of the world to operate one. The Air Force is the largest in Latin America and has about 700 manned aircraft in service and effective about 67,000 personnel. Brazil has not been invaded since 1865 during the Paraguayan War. Additionally, Brazil has no contested territorial disputes with any of its neighbors and neither does it have rivalries, like Chile and Bolivia have with each other. The Brazilian military has also three times intervened militarily to overthrow the Brazilian government. It has built a tradition of participating in UN peacekeeping missions such as in Haiti, East Timor and Central African Republic. Foreign Policy Itamarati Palace, the seat of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Brazil's international relations are based on Article 4 of the Federal Constitution, which establishes non-intervention, self-determination, international cooperation and the peaceful settlement of conflicts as the guiding principles of Brazil's relationship with other countries and multilateral organizations. According to the Constitution, the President has ultimate authority over foreign policy, while the Congress is tasked with reviewing and considering all diplomatic nominations and international treaties, as well as legislation relating to Brazilian foreign policy. Brazil's foreign policy is a byproduct of the country's unique position as a regional power in Latin America, a leader among developing countries, and an emerging world power. Brazilian foreign policy has generally been based on the principles of multilateralism, peaceful dispute settlement, and non-intervention in the affairs of other countries. An increasingly well-developed tool of Brazil's foreign policy is providing aid as a donor to other developing countries. Brazil does not just use its growing economic strength to provide financial aid, but it also provides high levels of expertise and most importantly of all, a quiet non-confrontational diplomacy to improve governance levels. Total aid is estimated to be around $1 billion per year that includes technical cooperation of around $480 million, $30 million in 2010 provided directly by the Brazilian Cooperation Agency, 
ABC, an estimated $450 million for in-kind expertise provided by Brazilian institutions specializing in technical cooperation. In addition, Brazil manages a peacekeeping mission in Haiti, $350 million, and makes in-kind contributions to the World Food Programme. $300 million. This is in addition to humanitarian assistance and contributions to multilateral development agencies. The scale of this aid places it on par with China and India. The Brazilian South South aid has been described as a global model in waiting, law enforcement and crime. Car of the National Public Security Force. In Brazil, the Constitution establishes five different police agencies for law enforcement, Federal Police Department, Federal Highway Police. Federal Railroad Police, Military Police and Civil Police. Of these, the first three are affiliated with federal authorities and the last two are subordinate to state governments. All police forces are the responsibility of the executive branch of any of the federal or state powers. The National Public Security Force also can act in public disorder situations arising anywhere in the country. The country still has above average levels of violent crime and particularly high levels of gun violence and homicide. In 2012, the World Health Organization, WHO, estimated the number of 32 deaths per 100,000 inhabitants, one of the highest rates of homicide of the world. The number considered tolerable by the WHO is about 10 homicides per 100,000 inhabitants. However, there are differences between the crime rates in the Brazilian states. While in Sao Paulo the homicide rate registered in 2013 was 10.8 deaths per 100,000 inhabitants, in Alagoas it was 64.7 homicides per 100,000 inhabitants. Brazil also has high levels of incarceration and the third largest prison population in the world, behind only China and the United States, with an estimated total of approximately 700,000 prisoners around the country. June 2014, an increase of about 300% compared to the index registered in 1992. The high number of prisoners eventually overloaded the Brazilian prison system, leading to a shortfall of about 200,000 accommodations. Administrative Divisions Brazil is a federation composed of 26 states, one federal district and the 5,570 municipalities. States have autonomous administrations, collect their own taxes and receive a share of taxes collected by the federal government. They have a governor and a unicameral legislative body elected directly by their voters. They also have independent courts of law for common justice. Despite this, states have much less autonomy to create their own laws than in the United States. For example, Criminal and civil laws can be voted by only the federal bicameral congress and are uniform throughout the country. The states and the federal district may be grouped into regions, northern, northeast, central west, southeast and southern. The Brazilian regions are merely geographical, not political or administrative divisions, and they do not have any specific form of government. Although defined by law, Brazilian regions are useful mainly for statistical purposes and also to define the distribution of federal funds in development projects. Municipalities, as the states, have autonomous administrations, collect their own taxes and receive a share of taxes collected by the union and state government. Each has a mayor and an elected legislative body, but no separate court of law. Indeed, a court of law organized by the state can encompass many municipalities in a single justice administrative division called Comica, County Economy. Sao Paulo, the country's main financial center, and the largest in Latin America. Brazil is the largest national economy in Latin America, the world's eighth largest economy, and the eighth largest in purchasing power parity. PPP, according to the 2017 estimates, Brazil has a mixed economy with abundant natural resources. After rapid growth in preceding decades, the country entered an ongoing recession in 2014 amid a political corruption scandal and nationwide protests. Its GDP, PPP, per capita was $15,919 in 2017 putting Brazil in the 77th position according to IMF data. Active in agricultural, mining, manufacturing and service sectors Brazil has a labor force of over 107 million ranking sixth worldwide, 
and unemployment of 6.2%, ranking 64th worldwide. The country has been expanding its presence in international financial and commodities markets, and is one of a group of four emerging economies called the BRIC countries. Brazil has been the world's largest producer of coffee for the last 150 years. The Itaipu Dam on the Paraná River, located on the border between Brazil and Paraguay, is the second largest of the world. The first is the Three Gorges Dam, in China. Approximately 75% of the Brazilian energy matrix, one of the cleanest in the world, comes from hydropower. Brazil's diversified economy includes agriculture, industry, and a wide range of services. Agriculture and allied sectors like forestry, logging and fishing accounted for 5.1% of the gross domestic product in 2007. Brazil is one of the largest producer of oranges, coffee, sugar cane, cassava and sisal, soybeans and papayas. The industry, from automobiles, steel and petrochemicals to computers, aircraft and consumer durables, accounted for 30.8% of the gross domestic product. Industry is highly concentrated in metropolitan Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Campinas, Porto Alegre, and Belo Horizonte. Brazil has become the fourth largest car market in the world. Major export products include aircraft, electrical equipment, automobiles, ethanol, textiles, footwear, iron ore, steel, coffee, orange juice, soybeans and corned beef. In total, Brazil ranks 23rd worldwide in value of exports. Brazil pegged its currency, the real, to the US dollar in 1994. However, after the East Asian financial crisis, the Russian default in 1998 and the series of adverse financial events that followed it, the Central Bank of Brazil temporarily changed its monetary policy to a managed float scheme while undergoing a currency crisis until definitively changing the exchange regime to free float in January 1999. Brazil received an International Monetary Fund Rescue Package in mid-2002 of $30.4 billion, then a record sum. Brazil's central bank paid back the IMF loan in 2005, although it was not due to be repaid until 2006. One of the issues the Central Bank of Brazil recently dealt with was an excess of speculative short-term capital inflows to the country, which may have contributed to a fall in the value of the US dollar against the real during that period. Nonetheless, foreign direct investment, FDI, related to long-term, less speculative investment in production, is estimated to be $193.8 billion for 2007. Inflation monitoring and control currently plays a major part in the central bank's role of setting out short-term interest rates as a monetary policy measure. Between 1993 and 2010, 7,012 mergers and acquisitions with a total known value of $707 billion with the involvement of Brazilian firms have been announced. The year 2010 was a new record in terms of value with 115 billion US dollars of transactions. The largest transaction with involvement of Brazilian companies has been CIA, Vale do Rio Dos acquired Inco in a tender offer valued at 18.9 billion US dollars. Corruption costs Brazil almost 41 billion dollars a year alone in 2010, with 69.9% of the country's firms identifying the issue as a major constraint in successfully penetrating the global market. Local government corruption is so prevalent that voters perceive it as a problem only if it surpasses certain levels and only if a local media for example a radio station is present to divulge the findings of corruption charges. Initiatives, like this exposure, strengthen awareness which is indicated by the Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index, ranking Brazil 69th out of 178 countries in 2012. The purchasing power in Brazil is eroded by the so-called Brazil cost. Brazil also has a large cooperative sector that provides 50% of the food in the country. The world's largest healthcare cooperative UNAMD is also located in Brazil and accounts for 32% of the healthcare insurance market in the country. Energy Brazil is the world's 10th largest energy consumer with much of its energy coming from renewable sources, 
particularly hydroelectricity and ethanol, the Ataipu Dam is the world's largest hydroelectric plant by energy generation. The first car with an ethanol engine was produced in 1978 and the first airplane engine running on ethanol in 2005. Recent oil discoveries in the pre-salt layer have opened the door for a large increase in oil production. The governmental agencies responsible for the energy policy are the Ministry of Mines and Energy, the National Council for Energy Policy, the National Agency of Petroleum, Natural Gas and Biofuels, and the National Agency of Electricity, Tourism, Sancho Bay in Fernando de Noronu Archipelago, Pernambuco, voted the most beautiful beach in the world by TripAdvisor, Benito, Mato Grosso do Sul. The rivers in the region are known for their crystal clear waters. Tourism in Brazil is a growing sector and key to the economy of several regions of the country. The country had 6.36 million visitors in 2015, ranking in terms of the international tourist rivals as the main destination in South America and second in Latin America after Mexico. Revenues from international tourists reached 6 billion US dollars in 2010 showing a recovery from the 2008 to 2009 economic crisis. Historical records of 5.4 million visitors and 6.8 billion US dollars in receipts were reached in 2011. Natural areas are its most popular tourism product, a combination of ecotourism with leisure and recreation, mainly sun and beach, and adventure travel as well as cultural tourism. Among the most popular destinations are the Amazon Rainforest, beaches and dunes in the northeast region, the Pantanal in the center-west region, beaches at Rio de Janeiro and Santa Catarina, cultural tourism in Minas Gerais and business trips to Sao Paulo City. In terms of the 2015 Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index, TTCI, which is a measurement of the factors that make it attractive to develop business in the travel and tourism industry of individual countries, Brazil ranked in the 28th ST place at the world's level, third in the Americas, after Canada and United States. Brazil's main competitive advantages are its natural resources, which ranked first on this criteria out of all countries considered, and ranked 23rd for its cultural resources due to its many World Heritage Sites. The TTCI report notes Brazil's main weaknesses, its ground transport infrastructure remains underdeveloped, rank 116th, with the quality of roads ranking in 105th place, and the country continues to suffer from a lack of price competitiveness, rank 114th, due in part to high ticket taxes and airport charges as well as high prices and high taxation. Safety and security have improved significantly, 75th in 2011, up from 128th in 2008. According to the World Tourism Organization, WTO, international travel to Brazil accelerated in 2000, particularly during 2004 and 2005. However, in 2006 a slowdown took place and international arrivals had almost no growth in 2007-08. In spite of this trend, revenues from international tourism continued to rise, from 4 billion US dollars in 2005 to 5 billion in 2007, despite 330 fewer arrivals. This favorable trend is the result of the strong devaluation of the US dollar against the Brazilian real, which began in 2004 but which makes Brazil a more expensive international destination. The city of Rio de Janeiro is featured in tourism in Brazil. Eguaza Falls, Paraná, in Brazil-Argentina border. The Garganta do Diabo walkway allow panoramic view of the falls from the Brazilian side. This trend changed in 2009, when both visitors and revenues fell as a result of the Great Recession of 2008 to 09. By 2010, the industry had recovered, and arrivals grew above 2006 levels to 5.2 million international visitors, and receipts from these visitors reached 6 billion US dollars. In 2011 the historical record was reached with 5.4 million visitors and 6.8 billion US dollars in receipts. Despite continuing record-breaking international tourism revenues, the number of Brazilian tourists traveling overseas has been growing steadily since 2003, resulting in a net negative foreign exchange balance, 
as more money is spent abroad by Brazilians than comes in as receipts from international tourists visiting Brazil. Tourism expenditures abroad grew from 5.8 billion US dollars in 2006 to 8.2 billion US dollars in 2007, a 42% increase, representing a net deficit of 3.3 billion US dollars in 2007, as compared to 1.5 billion US dollars in 2006 a 125% increase from the previous year. This trend is caused by Brazilians taking advantage of the stronger real to travel and making relatively cheaper expenditures abroad. Brazilians traveling overseas in 2006 represented 4% of the country's population. In 2005, tourism contributed with 3.2% of the country's revenues from exports of goods and services and represented 7% of direct and indirect employment in the Brazilian economy. In 2006 direct employment in the sector reached 1.9 million people. Domestic tourism is a fundamental market segment for the industry, as 51 million people traveled throughout the country in 2005, and direct revenues from Brazilian tourists reached 22 billion US dollars. 5.6 times more receipts than international tourists in 2005. In 2005, Rio de Janeiro, Foz do Iguaçu, Sao Paulo, Florianópolis and Salvador were the most visited cities by international tourists for leisure trips. The most popular destinations for business trips were Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro and Porto Alegre. In 2006 Rio de Janeiro and Fortaleza were the most popular destinations for business trips. Infrastructure Science and Technology Technological research in Brazil is largely carried out in public universities and research institutes with the majority of funding for basic research coming from various government agencies. Brazil's most esteemed technological hubs are the Oswaldo Cruz Institute, the Butantan Institute, the Air Force's Aerospace Technical Center, the Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation and the INP. The Brazilian Space Agency has the most advanced space program in Latin America, with significant resources to launch vehicles, and manufacture of satellite, owner of relative technological sophistication, the country develops submarines, aircraft, as well as being involved in space research, having a vehicle launch center light and being the only country in the southern hemisphere the integrate team building International Space Station, ISS. The country is also a pioneer in the search for oil in deep water, from where it extracts 73% of its reserves. Uranium is enriched at the recent nuclear fuel factory, mostly for research purposes, as Brazil obtains 88% from its electricity from hydroelectricity, and the country's first nuclear submarine was delivered in 2015, by France. Brazil is one of the three countries in Latin America with an operational synchrotron laboratory, a research facility on physics, chemistry, material science and life sciences, and Brazil is the only Latin American country to have a semiconductor company with its own fabrication plant, the CI Tech. According to the Global Information Technology Report 2009-2010 of the World Economic Forum, Brazil is the world's 61st largest developer of information technology. Brazil also has a large number of outstanding scientific personalities. Among the most renowned Brazilian inventors are priests Bartolomé de Guzmão, Landel de Mra and Francisco João de Azevedo, besides Alberto Santos Dumont, Ivaristo Conrado Engelberg, Manuel Dias de Abra, Andreas Pavel and Nelio Jose Malai. Brazilian science is represented by the likes of Cesar Lattes, Brazilian physicist Pathfinder of Pimezon, Mario Senberg, considered the greatest theoretical physicist of Brazil, Jose Leite Lopes, only Brazilian physicist holder of UNESCO Science Prize, Artur Avila, the first Latin American winner of Fields Medal, and Fritz Muller pioneer in factual support of the theory of evolution by Charles Darwin. Transport Brazilian roads are the primary carriers of freight and passenger traffic. The road system totaled 1.98 million km, 1.23 million mi, in 2002. The total of paved roads increased from 35,496 km, 22,056 miles 22,056 miles, 
in 1967 to 184,140 kilometers, 114,419 miles, 114,425 miles. In 2002, the first investments in road infrastructure have given up in the 1920s, the government of Washington Lewis, being pursued in the governments of Getulio Vargas and Eurico Gaspar Dutra, President Juscelino Kubitschek, 1956-61, who designed and built the capital Brasilia was another supporter of highways, Kubitschek was responsible for the installation of major car manufacturers in the country, Volkswagen, Ford and General Motors arrived in Brazil during his rule, and one of the points used to attract them was support for the construction of highways, with the implementation of Fiat in 1976 ending an automobile market closed loop. From the end of the 1990s the country has received large foreign direct investments installing in its territory other major car manufacturers and utilities, such as Iveco, Renault, Peugeot, Citroën, Honda, Mitsubishi, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Hyundai, Toyota among others. Brazil is the seventh most important country in the auto industry. Brazil's railway system has been declining since 1945 when emphasis shifted to highway construction. The total length of railway track was 30,875 kilometers, 19,185 miles, in 2002, as compared with 31,848 kilometers, 19,789 miles, in 1970. Most of the railway system belonged to the Federal Railroad Corporation RFSA, which was privatized in 2007. The Sao Paulo Metro was the first underground transit system in Brazil. The other metro systems are in Rio de Janeiro, Porto Alegre, Recife, Belo Horizonte, Brasilia, Teresina and Fortaleza. The country has an extensive rail network of 28,538 kilometers, 17,733 miles, in length the tenth largest network in the world. Currently, the Brazilian government, unlike the past, seeks to encourage this mode of transport. An example of this incentive is the project of the Rio Sao Paulo high-speed rail, that will connect the two main cities of the country to carry passengers. There are about 2,500 airports in Brazil, including landing fields, the second largest number in the world, after the United States. Sao Paulo Garulhas International Airport, near Sao Paulo, is the largest and busiest airport with nearly 20 million passengers annually, while handling the vast majority of commercial traffic for the country. For freight transport, waterways are of importance, for example the industrial zones of Manaus can be reached only by means of the Solimos Amazonas Waterway, 3,250 kilometers, 2,020 miles, with 6 meters, 20 feet, minimum depth. The country also has 50,000 kilometers, 31,000 miles, of waterways. Coastal shipping links widely separated parts of the country. Bolivia and Paraguay have been given free ports at Santos. Of the 36 deep water ports, Santos, Itajai, Rio Grande, Paranagua, Rio de Janeiro, Sepetiba, Vitoria, Swape, Manaus and São Francisco do Sul are the most important. Bulk carriers have to wait up to 18 days before being serviced, container ships 36,3 hours on average. Health Surgery Center of the University of São Paulo Clinics Hospital. The largest hospital complex in Latin America. The Brazilian Public Health System, the Unified Health System, SUS, is managed and provided by all levels of government being the largest system of this type in the world. On the other hand, private healthcare systems play a complementary role. Public health services are universal and offered to all citizens of the country for free. However, the construction and maintenance of health centers and hospitals are financed by taxes, and the country spends about 9% of its GDP on expenditures in the area. In 2012, Brazil had 1.85 doctors and 2.3 hospital beds for every 1,000 inhabitants. Despite all the progress made since the creation of the universal health care system in 1988, there are still several public health problems in Brazil. In 2006, 
The main points to be solved were the high infant, 2.51%, and maternal mortality rates, 73.1 deaths per 1,000 births. The number of deaths from non-communicable diseases, such as cardiovascular diseases, 151.7 deaths per 100,000 inhabitants, and cancer, 72.7 deaths per 100,000 inhabitants also has a considerable impact on the health of the Brazilian population. Finally, external but preventable factors such as car accidents, violence and suicide caused 14.9% of all deaths in the country. The Brazilian health system was ranked 125th among the 191 countries evaluated by the World Health Organization, WHO in 2000. Education. The federal constitution and the law of guidelines and bases of national education determined that the union, the states, the federal district, and the municipalities must manage and organize their respective education systems. Each of these public educational systems is responsible for its own maintenance, which manages funds as well as the mechanisms and funding sources. The Constitution reserves 25% of the state budget and 18% of federal taxes and municipal taxes for education. According to the OBJ, in 2011, the literacy rate of the population was 90.4%, meaning that 13,009.6% of population people are still illiterate in the country. Functional illiteracy has reached 21.6% of the population. Illiteracy is highest in the Northeast where 19.9% of the population is illiterate. Higher education starts with undergraduate or sequential courses, which may offer different options of specialization in academic or professional careers. Depending on the choice, students can improve their educational background with courses of postgraduate studies or broad sense. Attending an institution of higher education is required by law of guidelines and bases of education. Kindergarten elementary and medium educations are required of all students, provided the student does not hold any disability, whether physical, mental, visual or hearing. The University of Sao Paulo is the second best university in Latin America, according to recent 2019 QS World University rankings. Of the top 20 Latin American universities, eight are Brazilian, most of them are public, media and communication. Former President Dilma Rousseff Journal National News Program. Read Globo is the second largest commercial television network of the world. The Brazilian press had its beginnings in 1808 with the arrival of the Portuguese royal family to Brazil, hitherto forbidden any activity of the press was the publication of newspapers or books. The Brazilian press was officially born in Rio de Janeiro on 13 May 1808, with the creation of the Royal Printing, National Press by the Prince Regent Dom João. The Gazeta do Rio de Janeiro, the first newspaper published in the country, began to circulate on 10 September 1808. The largest newspapers nowadays are Folha do S. Paulo, from the state of Sao Paulo, Super Notitia, Minas Gerais 296.799, O Globo, RJ 277.876, and O Estado do S. Paulo, SP 235.217. Radio broadcasting began on 7 September 1922, with a speech by then President Pessoa and was formalized on 20 April 1923 with the creation of Radio Society of Rio de Janeiro. Television in Brazil began officially on 18 September 1950, with the founding of TV TV2P by Assis Chateaubriand. Since then television has grown in the country, creating large public networks such as Globo, SBT, Record and Bandarants. Today it is the most important factor in popular culture of Brazilian society indicated by research showing that as much as 67% of the general population follow the same daily soap opera broadcast, digital television, using the SBTVD standard, based on the Japanese standard ISDBT, was adopted the 29th of June 2006 and launched on the 2nd of November 2007. In May 2010, Brazil launched TV Brasil International, an international television station, initially broadcasting to 49 countries. Demographics Population density of Brazilian municipalities The population of Brazil, 
as recorded by the 2008 PNUD, was approximately 190 million, 22.31 inhabitants per square kilometer or 57.8 per square mile, with a ratio of men to women of 0.95 to 1 and 83.75% of the population defined as urban. The population is heavily concentrated in the southeastern, 79.8 million inhabitants, and northeastern, 53.5 million inhabitants, regions, while the two most extensive regions, the center-west and the north, which together make up 64.12% of the Brazilian territory, have a total of only 29.1 million inhabitants. The first census in Brazil was carried out in 1872 and recorded a population of 9,930,478. From 1880 to 1930, 4 million Europeans arrived. Brazil's population increased significantly between 1940 and 1970 because of a decline in the mortality rate, even though the birth rate underwent a slight decline. In the 1940s the annual population growth rate was 2.4%, rising to 3.0% in the 1950s and remaining at 2.9% in the 1960s, as life expectancy rose from 44 to 54 years and to 72.6 years in 2007. It has been steadily falling since the 1960s, from 3.04% per year between 1950 and 1960 to 1.05% in 2008 and is expected to fall to a negative value of minus 0.29% by 2050 thus completing the demographic transition. In 2008, the illiteracy rate was 11.48% and among the youth, ages 15 to 19 1.74%. It was highest, 20.30%. In the northeast, which had a large proportion of rural poor, illiteracy was high, 24.18%, among the rural population and lower, 9.05%, among the urban population. Race and Ethnicity Immigration Museum of the State of Sao Paulo in the neighborhood of Mca, in Sao Paulo City. The Italian Brazilians are 15% of the population and the largest Italian community outside Italy. According to the National Research by Household Sample, PNUD, of 2008, 48.43% of the population, about 92 million, described themselves as white, 43.80%, about 83 million, as pardo, brown, 6.84%, about 13 million, as black, 0.58%, about 1.1 million, as Asian, and 0.28%, about 536,000, as Amerindian, officially called indigena, indigenous, while 0.07%, about 130,000, did not declare their race. In 2007, the National Indian Foundation estimated that Brazil has 67 different uncontacted tribes up from their estimate of 40 in 2005. Brazil is believed to have the largest number of uncontacted peoples in the world. Since the arrival of the Portuguese in 1500, considerable miscegenation between Amerindians, Europeans, and Africans has taken place in all regions of the country, with European ancestry being dominant nationwide according to the vast majority of all autosomal studies undertaken covering the entire population accounting for between 65% to 77%. Race and ethnicity in Brazil. White, 47.7%. Pardo, multiracial 43.1%. Black, 7.6%. Asian, 1.1%. Natives, 0.4%. Brazilian society is more markedly divided by social class lines, although a high income disparity is found between race groups so racism and classism can be conflated. Socially significant closeness to one racial group is taken in account more in the basis of appearance, phenotypes, rather than ancestry, to the extent that full siblings can pertain to different racial groups. Socioeconomic factors are also significant, because a minority of pardos are likely to start declaring themselves white or black if socially upward. Skin color and facial features do not line quite well with ancestry, Usually, Afro-Brazilians are evenly mixed and European ancestry is dominant in whites and pardos with a significant non-European contribution, 
but the individual variation is great. The brown population, officially called pardo in Portuguese, also colloquially moreno, is a broad category that includes cabaclos, assimilated Amerindians in general, and descendants of whites and natives, mulatos, descendants of primarily whites and Afro-Brazilians, and cafuzos, descendants of Afro-Brazilians and natives. People of considerable Amerindian ancestry form the majority of the population in the northern, northeastern and center-western regions. Higher percents of blacks, mulattoes and triracials can be found in the eastern coast of the northeastern region from Bahia to Paraibo and also in northern Maranhão southern Minas Gerais and in eastern Rio de Janeiro. From the 19th century, Brazil opened its borders to immigration. About 5 million people from over 60 countries migrated to Brazil between 1808 and 1972, most of them of Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, German, Ukrainian, Polish, Jewish, Russian, Chinese, Japanese, and Arab origin. Religion. Religion in Brazil. 2010 census Roman Catholicism 64.6% Protestantism 22.2% No religion 8.0% Spiritism 2.0% Others 3.2% Religion in Brazil was formed from the meeting of the Catholic Church with the religious traditions of enslaved African peoples and indigenous peoples. This confluence of faiths during the Portuguese colonization of Brazil led to the development of a diverse array of syncretistic practices within the overarching umbrella of Brazilian Catholic Church characterized by traditional Portuguese festivities, and in some instances, Alan Kardec's Spiritism, a religion which incorporates elements of spiritualism and Christianity. Religious pluralism increased during the 20th century, and the Protestant community has grown to include over 22% of the population. The most common Protestant denominations are Pentecostal and Evangelical ones. Other Protestant branches with a notable presence in the country include the Baptists, Seventh-day Adventists, Lutherans and the Reformed tradition, Basilica of the National Shrine of Our Lady of Aparecida in Aparecida, São Paulo, is the second largest Catholic Church in the world. Roman Catholicism is the country's predominant faith. Brazil has the world's largest Catholic population. According to the 2000 demographic census, the PNUD survey does not inquire about religion, 73.57% of the population followed Roman Catholicism, 15.41% Protestantism, 1.33% Kardecist Spiritism, 1.22% other Christian denominations, 0.31% Afro-Brazilian religions, 0.13% Buddhism, 0.05% Judaism, 0.02% Islam, 0.01% Amerindian religions, 0.59% other religions, undeclared or undetermined, while 7.35% of no religion. However, in the last 10 years Protestantism, particularly in forms of Pentecostalism and Evangelicalism, has spread in Brazil, while the proportion of Catholics has dropped significantly. After Protestantism, individuals professing no religion are also a significant group, exceeding 7% of the population as of the 2000 census. The cities of Boa Vista, Salvador, and Porto Velho have the greatest proportion of irreligious residents in Brazil. Tiracina, Fortaleza, and Florianópolis were the most Roman Catholic in the country. Greater Rio de Janeiro, not including the city proper, is the most irreligious and least Roman Catholic Brazilian periphery, while Greater Porto Alegre and Greater Fortaleza are on the opposite sides of the lists, respectively. Urbanization. Main articles. List of largest cities in Brazil and municipalities of Brazil. According to IBG, Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics, urban areas already concentrate 84.35% of the population, while the southeast region remains the most populated one, with over 80 million inhabitants. The largest urban agglomerations in Brazil are Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, and Belo Horizonte, all in the southeastern region with 21.1, 12.3, and 5.1 million inhabitants respectively. The majority of state capitals are the largest cities in their states, except for Vitoria, the capital of Espirito Santo, and Florianópolis, 
the capital of Santa Catarina, largest urban agglomerations in Brazil, 1 Sao Paulo 21,314,716, 2 Rio de Janeiro 12,389,775, 3 Belo Horizonte 5,142,260, 4 Isai 4,021,641, 5 Brasilia 3,986,000, 1425 6 Porto Alegre 3,894,232 7 Salvador 3,863,154 3, 8 Fortaleza 3,594,924 9 Curitiba 3,387,985 10 Goiania Goias 2,347,500 557. Language. The official language of Brazil is Portuguese, Article 13 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Brazil, which almost all of the population speaks and is virtually the only language used in newspapers, radio, television, and for business and administrative purposes. Brazil is the only Portuguese-speaking nation in the Americas making the language an important part of Brazilian national identity and giving it a national culture distinct from those of its Spanish-speaking neighbors. Brazilian Portuguese has had its own development, mostly similar to 16th century central and southern dialects of European Portuguese, despite a very substantial number of Portuguese colonial settlers, and more recent immigrants, coming from northern regions, and in minor degree Portuguese Macaronesia with a few influences from the Amerindian and African languages, especially West African and Bantu restricted to the vocabulary only. As a result, the language is somewhat different, mostly in phonology, from the language of Portugal and other Portuguese-speaking countries, the dialects of the other countries, partly because of the more recent end of Portuguese colonialism in these regions have a closer connection to contemporary European Portuguese. These differences are comparable to those between American and British English. In 1990, the Community of Portuguese Language Countries, CPLP, which included representatives from all countries with Portuguese as the official language, reached an agreement on the reform of the Portuguese orthography to unify the two standards then in use by Brazil on one side and the remaining Lusophone countries on the other. This spelling reform went into effect in Brazil on 1 January 2009. In Portugal, the reform was signed into law by the President on 21 July 2008 allowing for a six-year adaptation period during which both orthographies will coexist. The remaining CPLP countries are free to establish their own transition timetables. The sign language law legally recognized in 2002. The law was regulated in 2005, the use of the Brazilian sign language, more commonly known by its Portuguese acronym Libras, in education and government services. The language must be taught as a part of the education and speech and language pathology curricula. Libras teachers, instructors and translators are recognized professionals. Schools and health services must provide access, inclusion, to deaf people. Pomerod, Santa Catarina, is one of the municipalities with a official language. In this region, Hansruckis and East Pomeranian, German dialects, are two of the minor languages, see Brazilian German. Minority languages are spoken throughout the nation. 180 Amerindian languages are spoken in remote areas and a significant number of other languages are spoken by immigrants and their descendants. In the municipality of Sao Gabriel de Acacura, Nhingatu, a currently endangered South American Creole language, or an anti-Creole, according to some linguists with mostly indigenous Brazilian languages lexicon and Portuguese-based grammar that, together with its southern relative lingua geral Paulista, once was a major lingua franca in Brazil, being replaced by Portuguese only after governmental prohibition led by major political changes, Baniwa and Tucano languages had been granted co-official status with Portuguese. There are significant communities of German, mostly the Brazilian Hansruckis a high German language dialect, and Italian, mostly the Italian, a Venetian dialect, origins in the southern and southeastern regions, whose ancestors' native languages were carried along to Brazil, 
and which, still alive there, are influenced by the Portuguese language. Italian is officially a historic patrimony of Rio Grande do Sul, and two German dialects possess co-official status in a few municipalities. Learning at least one second language, generally English or Spanish, is mandatory for all the twelve grades of the mandatory education system, primary and secondary education. The called Encino Fundamental and Encino Medio respectively. Brazil is the first country in South America to offer Esperanto to secondary students. Culture Interior of the São Francisco Church and Convent in Salvador, Bahia, one of the richest expressions of Brazilian Baroque. The core culture of Brazil is derived from Portuguese culture because of its strong colonial ties with the Portuguese Empire. Among other influences, the Portuguese introduced the Portuguese language, Roman Catholicism and colonial architectural styles. The culture was, however, also strongly influenced by African, indigenous and non-Portuguese European cultures and traditions. Some aspects of Brazilian culture were influenced by the contributions of Italian, German and other European as well Japanese. Jewish and Arab immigrants who arrived in large numbers in the south and southeast of Brazil during the 19th and 20th centuries. The indigenous Amerindians influenced Brazil's language and cuisine, and the Africans influenced language, cuisine, music, dance and religion. Brazilian art has developed since the 16th century into different styles that range from Baroque, the dominant style in Brazil until the early 19th century, to Romanticism, Modernism, Expressionism, Cubism, Surrealism and Abstractionism. Brazilian cinema dates back to the birth of the medium in the late 19th century and has gained a new level of international acclaim since the 1960s. Architecture The Cathedral of Brasilia, an example of modern architecture. The architecture of Brazil is influenced by Europe, especially Portugal. It has a history that goes back 500 years to the time when Pedro Cabral discovered Brazil in 1500. Portuguese colonial architecture was the first wave of architecture to go to Brazil. It is the basis for all Brazilian architecture of later centuries. In the 19th century during the time of the Empire of Brazil, Brazil followed European trends and adopted neoclassical and Gothic revival architecture. Then in the 20th century especially in Brasilia, Brazil experimented with modernist architecture. The colonial architecture of Brazil dates to the early 16th century when Brazil was first explored, conquered and settled by the Portuguese. The Portuguese built architecture familiar to them in Europe in their aim to colonize Brazil. They built Portuguese colonial architecture which included churches, civic architecture including houses and forts in Brazilian cities and the countryside. During 19th century Brazilian architecture saw the introduction of more European styles to Brazil such as neoclassical and Gothic revival architecture. This was usually mixed with Brazilian influences from their own heritage which produced a unique form of Brazilian architecture. In the 1950s the modernist architecture was introduced when Brasilia was built as new federal capital in the interior of Brazil to help develop the interior. The architect Oscar Niemeyer idealized and built government buildings, churches and civic buildings was constructed in the modernist style. Music Tom Gerbeam, one of the creators of Bossa Nova, and Chico Buck, one of the leading names of MPB. The music of Brazil was formed mainly from the fusion of European and African elements. Until the 19th century, Portugal was the gateway to most of the influences that built Brazilian music, although many of these elements were not of Portuguese origin, but generally European. The first was José Mauricio Nunes Garcia, author of Sacred Pieces with Influence of Viennese Classicism. The major contribution of the African element was the rhythmic diversity and some dances and instruments that had a bigger role in the development of popular music and folk flourishing especially in the 20th century. Popular music since the late 18th century began to show signs of forming a characteristically Brazilian sound, with samba considered the most typical and on the UNESCO cultural heritage list. Marucatu and the folks are two Afro-Brazilian music traditions that have been popularized by their appearance in the annual Brazilian carnivals. The sport of capoeira is usually played with its own music referred to as capoeira music 
which is usually considered to be a call and response type of folk music. Foro is a type of folk music prominent during the Festa Junina in northeastern Brazil. Jack A. Draper III, a professor of Portuguese at the University of Missouri, argues that foro was used as a way to subdue feelings of nostalgia for a rural lifestyle. Kuro is a very popular music instrumental style. Its origins are in 19th century Rio de Janeiro. In spite of the name, the style often has a fast and happy rhythm, characterized by virtuosity, improvisation, subtle modulations and full of syncopation and counterpoint. Bossa Nova is also a well-known style of Brazilian music developed and popularized in the 1950s and 1960s. The phrase Bossa Nova means literally new trend. A lyrical fusion of samba and jazz, Bossa Nova acquired a large following starting in the 1960s. Literature Brazilian literature dates back to the 16th century, to the writings of the first Portuguese explorers in Brazil, such as Pero Vaz de Camina, filled with descriptions of fauna, flora and commentary about the indigenous population that fascinated European readers. Brazil produced significant works in Romanticism, novelists like Joaquim Manuel de Macedo and José de Alencar wrote novels about love and pain. Alencar, in his long career, also treated indigenous people as heroes in the indigenous novels Ogarani, Iracema and Jubaira Jara. Mercado de Assis, one of his contemporaries, wrote in virtually all genres and continues to gain international prestige from critics worldwide. Brazilian modernism, evidenced by the Week of Modern Art in 1922, was concerned with a nationalist avant-garde literature, while postmodernism brought a generation of distinct poets like João Cabral de Melonito, Carlos Drummond de Andrade, Vinicius de Moraes, Cora Coralina, Graciliano Ramos, Cecilia Miralles, and internationally known writers dealing with universal and regional subjects like Jorge Amado, João Gomes Rosa, Clarice Lispector and Manuel Bandra. Cuisine Brazilian cuisine varies greatly by region, reflecting the country's varying mix of indigenous and immigrant populations. This has created a national cuisine marked by the preservation of regional differences. Examples are feijoada, considered the country's national dish, and regional foods such as bo, Fajata Apero, Vatapa, Mokha, Polenta, from Italian cuisine, and Akara, from African cuisine. The national beverage is coffee and cachaça is Brazil's native liquor. Cachaça is distilled from sugar cane and is the main ingredient in the national cocktail, Capirina. A typical meal consists mostly of rice and beans with beef, salad, French fries and a fried egg. Often, it's mixed with cassava flour, farofa, fried potatoes, Fried cassava, fried banana, fried meat and fried cheese are very often eaten in lunch and served in most typical restaurants. Popular snacks are pastel, a fried pastry, coke sinner, a variation of chicken croquis, powder quo, cheese bread and cassava flour, tapioca, pimena, corn and milk paste, s fura, a variation of Lebanese pastry, kibbeh, from Arabic cuisine, empanada, pastry and impada, little salt pies filled with shrimps or heart of palm. Brazil has a variety of desserts such as brigadeiros, chocolate fudge balls, bolo de rolo, roll cake with goiabada, cocada, a coconut sweet, beijinhos, coconut truffles and clove, and Roma julieta, cheese with goiabada. Peanuts are used to make pasoca, rapadura and demolek. Local common fruits like acai, cupuasu, mango, papaya, cocoa, cashew, guava, orange, lime, passion fruit, pineapple, and hog plum are turned in juices and used to make chocolates, ice pops and ice cream. Cinema Festival de Gramado, the biggest film festival in the country. Fernando Mirals, who was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Director for City of God. The Brazilian film industry began in the late 19th century during the early days of the Belle Epoque. While there were national film productions during the early 20th century, American films such as Rio the Magnificent were made in Rio de Janeiro to promote tourism in the city. The films Limite, 1931, and Ganga Bruta, 1933, the latter being produced by Adhima Gonzaga through the prolific studios in India, were poorly received at release and failed at the box office. 
but are acclaimed nowadays and placed among the finest Brazilian films of all time. The 1941 unfinished film It's All True was divided in four segments, two of which were filmed in Brazil and directed by Orson Welles. It was originally produced as part of the United States Good Neighbor Policy during Getilio Vargas' Estado Novo government. During the 1960s, the Cinema Novo movement rose to prominence with directors such as Glauber Rocha, Nelson Pereira dos Santos, Paulo Cesar Saraceni and Arnaldo Jaber. Rocha's films De Asi o Diabona Terra do Sol, 1964, and Terra Emdrance, 1967 are considered to be some of the greatest and most influential in Brazilian film history. During the 1990s, Brazil saw a surge of critical and commercial success with films such as O Quatrilho, Fabio Barreto, 1995, O Que Iso, Campaign Hero, Bruno Barreto, 1997, and Central do Brasil, Walter Salles, 1998, all of which were nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film the latter receiving a Best Actress nomination for Fernanda Montenegro. The 2002 crime film City of God, directed by Fernando Mirals, was critically acclaimed, scoring 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, being placed in Roger Ebert's Best Films of the Decade list and receiving four Academy Award nominations in 2004, including Best Director. Notable film festivals in Brazil include the Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro International Film Festivals and the Gramado Festival Theatre. The theatre in Brazil has its origins in the period of Jesuit expansion when theatre was used for the dissemination of Catholic doctrine in the 16th century. In the 17th and 18th centuries the first dramatists who appeared on the scene of European derivation was for court or private performances. During the 19th century, dramatic theatre gained importance and thickness, whose first representative was Luis Carlos Martins Pena, 1813-1848, capable of describing contemporary reality. Always in this period the comedy of costume and comic production was imposed. Significant also in the 19th century, was also the playwright Antonio Gonçalves Dias. There were also numerous operas and orchestras. The Brazilian conductor Antonio Carlos Gomes became internationally known with operas like Il Guarani. At the end of the 19th century orchestrated dramaturges became very popular and were accompanied with songs of famous artists like the conductress Chiquina Gonzaga. Already in the early 20th century there was the presence of theatres, entrepreneurs and actor companies, but paradoxically the quality of the product staggered, and only in 1940 the Brazilian theatre received a boost of renewal thanks to the action of Pascal Carlos Magno and his students' theatre, the comedians' group and the Italian actors Adolfo Celli, Rairo Giacchi and Aldo Calvo, founders of the Teatro Brasileiro da Comedia. From the 1960s it was attended by a theatre dedicated to social and religious issues and to the flourishing of schools of dramatic art. The most prominent authors at this stage were Jorge Andred and Ariano Suassuna. Visual Arts Discovery of the Land Mural, by Brazilian painter Candido Portinari, at the Library of Congress. Brazilian painting emerged in the late 16th century, influenced by Baroque, Rococo, Neoclassicism, Romanticism, Realism, Modernism, Expressionism, Surrealism, Cubism and Abstractionism making it a major art style called Brazilian Academic Art. The Missão Artistica Francesa, French Artistic Mission, arrived in Brazil in 1816 proposing the creation of an art academy modeled after the respected Académie des Beaux-Arts with graduation courses both for artists and craftsmen for activities such as modeling decorating, carpentry and others and bringing artists like Jean-Baptiste de Brit. Upon the creation of the Imperial Academy of Fine Arts, new artistic movements spread across the country during the 19th century and later the event called Week of Modern Art broke definitely with academic tradition in 1922 and started a nationalist trend which was influenced by modernist arts. Among the best known Brazilian painters are Ricardo do Pila and Manuel de Acostuateide, Baroque and Rococo, Victor Murals, Pedro Americo and Amida Jr., Romanticism and Realism, Anita Malfatti, Ismail Neri, Lazar Segal, Emiliano de Cavalcanti, Vicente Durigo Monteiro, and Tarsla do Amaral, Expressionism, Surrealism and Cubism, Aldo Bernadi, 
Jose Pansetti and Candido Portinari, Modernism, Sports, Players with the first Olympic gold of the Brazil national football team, won in the 2016 Summer Olympics. Football is the most popular sport in the country. Ayrton Senna, who won three Formula One World Championships for McLaren in 1988, 1990 and 1991 is widely regarded as one of the greatest Formula One drivers of all time. The most popular sport in Brazil is football. The Brazilian men's national team is ranked among the best in the world according to the FIFA World Rankings, and has won the World Cup tournament a record five times. Volleyball, basketball, auto racing, and martial arts also attract large audiences. The Brazil men's national volleyball team, for example, currently holds the titles of the World League. World Grand Champions Cup, World Championship and the World Cup. In auto racing, three Brazilian drivers have won the Formula One World Championship eight times. Some sport variations have their origins in Brazil. Beach football, futsal, indoor football, and football emerged in Brazil as variations of football. In martial arts, Brazilians developed capoeira, vale tudo, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Brazil has hosted several high-profile international sporting events, like the 1950 FIFA World Cup and recently has hosted the 2014 FIFA World Cup. The Sao Paulo circuit, Autodroma Jose Carlos Pace, hosts the annual Grand Prix of Brazil. Sao Paulo organized the four Pan American Games in 1963, and Rio de Janeiro hosted the 15 Pan American Games in 2007. On the 2nd of October 2009, Rio de Janeiro was selected to host the 2016 Olympic Games and 2016 Paralympic Games, making it the first South American city to host the Games and second in Latin America, after Mexico City. Furthermore, the country hosted the FIBA Basketball World Cups in 1954 and 1963. At the 1963 event, the Brazil national basketball team won one of its two world championship titles. National holidays 1 January confraternizes our Universal New Year's Day beginning of the calendar year. 21 April Tiridents Tiridents in honor of the Martyr of the Minas Conspiracy. 1 May Diadu Drabal had all Labor Day tribute to all workers. 7 September Independence Year Independence of Brazil Proclamation of Independence against Portugal. 12 October Nossa Senhora Aparecida Our Lady of a Parasida Patroness of Brazil. 2 November Finados All Souls Day Day of Remembrance for the Dead. 15 November Proclama Saudi A Republic a Proclamation of the Republic Transformation of Empire into Republic. 25 December Natal Christmas Traditional Christmas Celebration. Following more than three centuries under Portuguese rule, Brazil gained its independence in 1822 maintaining a monarchical system of government until the abolition of slavery in 1888 and the subsequent proclamation of a republic by the military in 1889. Brazilian coffee exporters politically dominated the country until populist leader Getulio Vargas rose to power in 1930. By far the largest and most populous country in South America. Brazil underwent more than a half century of populist and military government until 1985, when the military regime peacefully ceded power to civilian rulers. Brazil continues to pursue industrial and agricultural growth and development of its interior. Having successfully weathered a period of global financial difficulty in the late 20th century, Brazil was seen as one of the world's strongest emerging markets and a contributor to global growth. The awarding of the 2014 FIFA World Cup and 2016 Summer Olympic Games, the first ever to be held in South America, was seen as symbolic of the country's rise. However, from about 2013 to 2016, Brazil was plagued by a sagging economy, high unemployment, and high inflation, only emerging from recession in 2017. Former President Dilma Rousseff 2011 to 2016, was removed from office in 2016 by Congress for having committed impeachable acts against Brazil's budgetary laws, and her vice, Michel Temer, served the remainder of her second term. In October 2018, Jair Bolsonaro won the presidency with 55% of the vote and assumed office on 1 January 2019. Brazil Summary Adobe PDF Geography
Brazil. Location. Eastern South America. Bordering the Atlantic Ocean. Geographic coordinates. 10 s 5500 W. Map references. South America. Area. Total. 8,515,770 square kilometers. Land. 8,358,140 square kilometers. Water. 157,630 square kilometers. Note. Includes Arquipelago de Fernando de Noronha, Atoll das Rocas, Ilha da Trindade, Ilhas Martin Vaz, and Penidos de Sao Pedro e Sao Paulo. Country comparison to the world. 6. Area. Comparative. Slightly smaller than the US. Area comparison map. Area comparison map. Land boundaries. Total. 16,145 kilometers. Border countries. 10. Argentina 1,263 kilometers. Bolivia 3,403 kilometers. Colombia 1,790 kilometers. French Guiana 649 kilometers. Guyana 1,308 km, Paraguay 1,371 km, Peru 2,659 km, Suriname 515 km, Uruguay 1,050 km, Venezuela 2,137 km. Coastline 7,491 km. Maritime claims. Territorial sea. 12 m. Exclusive economic zone. 200 m. Contiguous zone. 24 m. Continental shelf. 200 m more to edge of the continental margin. Climate. Mostly tropical, but temperate in south. Terrain. Mostly flat to rolling lowlands in north. Some plains, hills, mountains and narrow coastal belt elevation mean elevation 320 m elevation extremes 0 m lowest point atlantic ocean 2994 highest point pico de neblina natural resources bauxite gold iron ore manganese nickel phosphates platinum tin rare earth elements uranium petroleum hydropower timber land use agricultural land 32.9% Arable land, 8.6%, slash permanent crops, 0.8%, permanent pasture, 23.5%, forest, 61.9%, other, 5.2%, irrigated land, 54,000 square kilometers, population distribution, the vast majority of people live along, or relatively near, the Atlantic coast in the east, the population core is in the southeast, anchored by the cities of Sao Paulo. Brasilia, and Rio de Janeiro. Natural hazards, recurring droughts in northeast, floods and occasional frost in south. Environment, current issues, deforestation in Amazon basin destroys the habitat and endangers a multitude of plant and animal species indigenous to the area, illegal wildlife trade, illegal poaching, air and water pollution in Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, and several other large cities, land degradation and water pollution caused by improper mining activities, wetland degradation, Severe oil spills. Environment. International agreements. Party 2. Antarctic Environmental Protocol. Antarctic Marine Living Resources. Antarctic Seals. Antarctic Treaty. Biodiversity. Climate Change. Climate Change Kyoto Protocol. Desertification. Endangered Species. Environmental Modification. Hazardous Wastes. Law of the Sea. Marine Dumping. Ozone Layer Protection. Ship Pollution. Tropical Timber 83. Tropical Timber 94. Wetlands. Whaling. Signed, but not ratified. None of the selected agreements. Geography. Note. Largest country in South America and in the Southern Hemisphere. Shares common boundaries with every South American country except Chile and Ecuador. Most of the Pantanal, the world's largest tropical wetland, extends through the west central part of the country. Shares Aguaza Falls, the world's largest waterfalls system, with Argentina. People and Society. Brazil. Population 208,846,892. Country comparison to the world. 5. Nationality. Noun. Brazilian. S. Adjective. Brazilian. Ethnic groups. White 47.7%. Mulatto. Mixed white and black 43.1%. Black 7.6%. Asian 1.1%. Indigenous 0.4%. Languages. Portuguese. Official and most widely spoken language. Note. Less common languages include Spanish, border areas and schools, German, Italian, Japanese, 
English, and a large number of minor Amerindian languages. Religions Roman Catholic 64.6%, Other Catholic 0.4%, Protestant 22.2%, Includes Adventist 6.5%, Assembly of God 2.0%, Christian Congregation of Brazil 1.2%, Universal Kingdom of God 1.0%, Other Protestant 11.5%, Other Christian 0.7%, Spiritist 2.2%, Other 1.4%, Non 8%, Unspecified 0.4%. Demographic Profile Brazil's rapid fertility decline since the 1960s is the main factor behind the country's slowing population growth rate, aging population, and fast-paced demographic transition. Brasilia has not taken full advantage of its large working age population to develop its human capital and strengthen its social and economic institutions, but is funding a study abroad program to bring advanced skills back to the country. The current favorable age structure will begin to shift around 2025, with the labor force shrinking and the elderly starting to compose an increasing share of the total population. Well-funded public pensions have nearly wiped out poverty among the elderly, and Bolsa Familia and other social programs have lifted tens of millions out of poverty. More than half of Brazil's population is considered middle class, but poverty and income inequality levels remain high. The Northeast, North, and Center West, women, and black, mixed race, and indigenous populations are disproportionately affected. Disparities in opportunities foster social exclusion and contribute to Brazil's high crime rate, particularly violent crime in cities and favelas, slums. Brazil has traditionally been the net recipient of immigrants, with its Southeast being the prime destination. After the importation of African slaves was outlawed in the mid-19th century, Brazil sought Europeans, Italians, Portuguese, Spaniards, and Germans, and later Asians, Japanese, to work in agriculture, especially coffee cultivation. Recent immigrants come mainly from Argentina, Chile, and Andean countries, many are unskilled illegal migrants, or are returning Brazilian nationals. Since Brazil's economic downturn in the 1980s, emigration to the United States, Europe, and Japan has been rising but is negligible relative to Brazil's total population. The majority of these emigrants are well educated and middle class. Fewer Brazilian peasants are emigrating to neighboring countries to take up agricultural work. Age structure 0 to 14 years 21.89% Male 23,310,437 Female 22,310,437 15 to 24 years 16.29% Male 17,254,084 Female 16,754,085 25 to 54 years 43.86% Male 45,449,158 slash female 46,151,759 55 to 64 years 9.35% Male 9,229,665 slash female 10,296,824 65 years and over 8.61% Male 7,666,845 female 10,296,824 65 to 64 years 9.35% Male 7,666,845 female 10,296,824 65 to 64 years 9.35% Male 7,666,845 female 10,296,824 65 to 64 years 9.35% Male 7,666,845 female 10,296,824 65 to 64 years 9.35% Male 7,666,845 female 10,296,824 65 to ages 014, and the elderly, ages 65 plus, to the number of those in the working age group, ages 1564. Changes in the dependency ratio provide an indication of potential social support requirements resulting from changes in population age structures. As a fertility level, more dependency ratios field listing. Total dependency ratio. 43.8. Youth dependency ratio. 32.4. Elderly Dependency Ratio 11.4 Potential Support Ratio 8.7 Median Age Total 32.4 Years Male 31.5 Years Female 33.3 Years Country Comparison to the World 100 Population Growth Rate 0.71% 
country comparison to the world 140 birth rate 13.9 births out of 1000 population country comparison to the world 135 death rate 6.7 deaths out of 1000 population country comparison to the world 136 net migration rate minus 0.1 migrants out of 1000 population country comparison to the world 103 population distribution the vast majority of people live along or relatively near the atlantic coast in the east the population core is in the southeast anchored by the cities of sao paulo Brasilia, and Rio de Janeiro. Urbanization, urban population. 86.6% of total population. Rate of urbanization. 1.05% annual rate of change. Major urban areas, population. 21.65 million Sao Paulo, 13.293 million Rio de Janeiro, 5.972 million Belo Horizonte, 4.47 million Brasilia, capital. 4.094 million Porto Alegre, 4.028 million Recife. Sex ratio at birth 1.04 male apostrophe s slash female 0 to 14 years 1.04 male apostrophe s slash female 15 to 24 years 1.03 male apostrophe s slash female 25 to 54 years 0 0.98 male apostrophe s slash female 55 to 64 years 0 0.89 male apostrophe s slash female 65 years and over 0 0.74 male apostrophe s slash female total population 0 0.97 male apostrophe s slash female maternal mortality rate the maternal mortality rate mmr is the annual number of female deaths per 100,000 live births from any cause related to or aggravated by pregnancy or its management excluding accidental or incidental causes. The MMR includes deaths during pregnancy, childbirth, on within 42 days of termination of pregnancy, irrespective of the duration and site of the pregnancy, for a specified year. Maternal mortality rate field listing 44 deaths slash 100,000 live births Country comparison to the world 101 Infant mortality rate Total 16.9 deaths out of 1,000 live births Male 19.9 deaths out of 1,000 live births Female 13.8 deaths out of 1,000 live births Country comparison to the world 91 Life expectancy at birth Total population 74.3 years Male 70.7 years Female 78 years Country comparison to the world 125 Total fertility rate 1.75 children born Woman Country comparison to the world 159 Contraceptive prevalence rate This field gives the percent of women of reproductive age 1549 Who are married or in union and are using or whose sexual partner is using a method of contraception according to the date of the most recent available data the contraceptive prevalence rate is an indicator of health services, development, and women's empowerment. It is also useful in understanding past, present, and future fertility trends, especially in developing countries. Contraceptive prevalence rate field listing 80.2% Health expenditures 8.3% of GDP Country comparison to the world 51 Physicians density 1.85 physicians out of 1,000 population Hospital bed density 2.2 beds out of 1,000 population Drinking water source Improved Urban 100% of population Rural 87% of population Total 98.1% of population Unimproved Urban 0% of population Rural 13% of population Total 1.9% of population Sanitation facility access Improved Urban 88% of population Rural 51.5% of population Total 82.8% of population Unimproved Urban 12% of population Rural 48.5% of population Total 17.2% of population HIV slash AIDS Adult prevalence rate 0.6% Country comparison to the world 55 HIV slash AIDS People living with HIV slash AIDS 860,000 Country comparison to the world 12 HIV slash AIDS Deaths 14,000 
country comparison to the world. 18. Major infectious diseases, degree of risk. Very high. Food or waterborne diseases. Bacterial diarrhea and hepatitis A. Vector-borne diseases. Dengue fever and malaria. Water contact diseases. Schistosomiasis. Note. Active local transmission of Zika virus by AIDS species mosquitoes has been identified in this country. As of August 2016, it poses an important risk, a large number of cases possible. Among U.S. citizens if bitten by an infective mosquito, other less common ways to get Zika through sex, via blood transfusion, or during pregnancy, in which the pregnant woman passes Zika virus to her fetus. Obesity, adult prevalence rate, 22.1%. Country comparison to the world, 82. Education expenditures, 5.9% of GDP. Country comparison to the world, 38. Literacy, definition, age 15 and over can read and write. Total population, 92.6%. Male, 92.2%. Female, 92.9%. School life expectancy, primary to tertiary education. School life expectancy, SLE, is the total number of years of schooling, primary to tertiary, that a child can expect to receive, assuming that the probability of his or her being enrolled in school at any particular future age is equal to the current enrollment ratio at that age. Caution must be maintained when utilizing this indicator in international comparisons. For example, a year or grade completed in one country is not necessarily the same in terms of educational content or quality. More school life expectancy, primary to tertiary education, field listing. Total. 15 years. Male. 15 years. Female. 16 years. Unemployment, youth ages 15-24. Total. 30.2%. Male. 26.5%. Female. 35%. Country comparison to the world. 31. Government. Brazil. Country name. Conventional long form. Federative Republic of Brazil. Conventional short form. Brazil. Local long form. Republica Federativa do Brasil. Local short form. Brasil. Etymology. The country name derives from the Brazil wood tree that used to grow plentifully along the coast of Brazil and that was used to produce a deep red dye. Government type. Federal Presidential Republic. Capital name. Brasilia. Geographic coordinates. 1547s. 4755W. Time difference. UTC 3, 2 hours ahead of Washington, D.C., during standard time. Daylight saving time. Plus 1 hour, begins 3rd Sunday in October, ends 3rd Sunday in February. Note. Brazil has 4 time zones, including 1 for the Finando de Norona Islands. Administrative divisions. 26 states, Estados, singular, Estado, and 1 federal district, asterisk, Distrito Federal. Acre, Alagoas, Amarpa, Amazonas, Bahia, Zira, Distrito Federal Asterisk, Espirito Santo, Goias, Maranao, Mato Grosso, Mato Grosso do Sul, Minas Gerais, Para, Paraiba, Parana, Pernambuco, Piauí, Rio de Janeiro, Rio Grande do Norte, Rio Grande do Sul, Rondonia, Roraima, Santa Catarina, Sao Paulo, Sergipe, Tocantins. Independence. For most countries, this entry gives the date that sovereignty was achieved and from which nation, empire, or trusteeship. For the other countries, the date given may not represent independence in the strict sense, but rather some significant nationhood event such as the traditional founding date or the date of unification, federation, confederation, establishment, fundamental change in the form of government, or state succession. For a number of countries, the establishment of statehood. More independence field listing. The 7th of September 1822, from Portugal. National holiday. Independence Day, the 7th of September, 1822. Constitution. History. Several previous, latest ratified the 5th of October 1988. Amendments. Proposed by at least one third of either House of the National Congress, by the President of the Republic, or by a simple majority vote by more than half of the state legislative assemblies. Passage requires at least three-fifths majority vote by both houses in each of two readings, constitutional provisions affecting the federal form of government, separation of powers, suffrage, or individual rights and guarantees cannot be amended, amended many times, last in 2017. Legal System Civil Law Note, a new civil law code was enacted in 2002 replacing the 1916 code. International Law Organization participation has not submitted an ICJ jurisdiction declaration, 
Accept sick jurisdiction. Citizenship. Citizenship by birth. Yes. Citizenship by descent only. Yes. Dual citizenship recognized. Yes. Residency requirement for naturalization. Four years. Suffrage. Voluntary between 16 to 18 years of age, over 70, and if illiterate, compulsory between 18 to 70 years of age. Note. Military conscripts by law cannot vote. Executive branch. Chief of state. President Jair Bolsonaro. Since the 1st of January 2019, Vice President Antonio Hamilton Martins Mrao, since the 1st of January 2019, note. The President is both Chief of State and Head of Government. Head of Government. President Jair Bolsonaro, since the 1st of January 2019, Vice President Antonio Hamilton Martins Mrao, since the 1st of January 2019. Cabinet. Cabinet appointed by the President. Election slash appointments. President and Vice President directly elected on the same ballot by absolute majority popular vote in two rounds if needed for a single four-year term, eligible for a second term, election last held on the 7th of October 2018 with runoff on the 28th of October 2018. Next to be held in October 2022. Election results. Chair Bolsonaro elected president in second round, percent of vote in first round. Chair Bolsonaro, PSL 46%, Fernando Haddad, PT 29.3%, Sara Gomez, PDT 12.5%, Geraldo Alckmin, PSDB 4.8%, other 7.4%. Percent of vote in second round, Chair Bolsonaro, PSL 55.1%, Fernando Haddad, PT 44.9%. Legislative branch. Description. Bicameral National Congress or Congresso National consists of Federal Senate or Senado Federal, 81 seats, three members each from 26 states and three from the Federal District directly elected in multi-seat constituencies by simple majority vote to serve eight-year terms with one-third and two-thirds of the membership elected alternately every four years. Chamber of Deputies or Camara dos Deputados, 513 seats, members directly elected in multi-seat constituencies by proportional representation vote to serve four-year terms. Elections. Federal Senate, last held on the 7th of October 2018 for two-thirds of the Senate, next to be held in October 2022 for one-third of the Senate. Chamber of Deputies. Last held on the 7th of October 2018, next to be held in October 2022. Election results, Federal Senate, percent of vote by party, NA, seats by party, MP7, 5, Reed 5, Dem 4, SD 4, SD 4, SD 4, PT 4, PDT 2, PS 2, PS 2, SD 2, SD 2, Podemos 1, P1, P1, Pros 1, P1, SD 1, SD 1, Composition, Men 70, Women 11, Percent of women 13.6%. Chamber of Deputies. Percent of vote by party, NA. Seats by party, PT 56, PSL 52, PP 37, PMDB 34, PSDC 34, PR 33, PSB 32, PRB 30, 29 Deutschmarks, PSDB 29, PDT 28, SD 13, Bodemos 11, SL 10, PTB 10, Dob 9, Novo 8, PPS 8, Pros 8, PSC 8, Avanti 7, PHS 6, Patriota 5, PRP 4, PV 4, PMN 3, PTC 2, DC 1, PPL 1, Read 1, Composition, Men 462, Women 51, Percent of Women 9.9%, .9%, Total National Congress Percent of Women 10.4% Judicial Branch Highest Courts Supreme Federal Court or Supremo Tribunal Federal, consists of 11 Justices Judge Selection in Term of Office Justices appointed by the President and approved by the Federal Senate Justices appointed to serve until mandatory retirement at age 75 Subordinate Courts Tribunal of the Union, Federal Appeals Court Superior Court of Justice, Superior Electoral Court, Regional Federal Courts, State Court System. Political parties and leaders. Avalant. Luis Type. Formerly Labour Party of Brazil or Dob. Brazilian Communist Party or PCB. Ivan Martins Pinheiro. Brazilian Democratic Movement Party or PMDB. Michel Timer. Brazilian Labour Party or PTB. Christiane Brussel. Brazilian Renewal Labour Party or PRTB. 
José Levi Felix R. Cruz, Brazilian Republican Party or PRB, Marcos Antonio Pereira, Brazilian Social Democracy Party or PSDB, Tasso Jere Sarti, Brazilian Socialist Party or PSB, Carlos Roberto Sicre de Barros, Christian Democracy or DC, José Maria Emil, formerly Christian Social Democratic Party or PSDC, Christian Labour Party or PTC, Daniel Turino, Communist Party of Brazil or PDOB, José Renato Rabelo, Democratic Labour Party or PDT, Carlos Roberto Lupi, The Democrats or Dem, José Agrippino, formerly Liberal Front Party or PFL, Free Homeland Party or PPL, Sergio Rubens, Green Party or PV, José Luis Pena, Humanist Party of Solidarity or PHS, Eduardo Mercado, National Mobilization Party or PMN, Telmar Ibero dos Santos, New Party or Novo, Moises Jardim, Party of the Republic or PR, Alfredo Nascimento, Patriota, Adilson Barroso Oliveira, formerly National Ecologic Party or PEN, Podemos, Renato Abreu, formerly National Labour Party or PTN, Popular Socialist Party or PPS, Roberto João Pereira Freira, Progressive Party or PP, Chiro Nogueira, Progressive Republican Party or PRP, of Vasco Romo Altimari Recent, Republican Social Order Party or Pros, Europeeds Jr., Social Christian Party or PSC, Vita Jorge Abdulanosis, Social Democratic Party or PSD, Gilham Campos, Social Liberal Party or PSL, Luciano Caldas Biva, Socialism and Freedom Party or PSOL, Luz Arayo, Solidarity or SD, Paulo Pereira de Silva, Sustainability Network or REDE, Marina Silva, United Socialist Workers Party or PSTU, Jose Maria do Amida, Workers Cause Party or PCO, Rui Costa Pimenta, Workers Party or PT, Glizzy Hoffman, International Organization Participation of Non-Regional Member, BIS, BRICS, CAM, Associate, CD, CELAC, CPLB, FAO, FAF, G15, G20, G24, G5, G77, YIDB, IA, IBD, ICAO, ICC, National Committees, ICT, ICM, IDA, IFAD, IF, IFX, EHO, ELO, IMF, EMO, IMSO, Interpol, IOC, IOM, IPU, ISO, ITSO, ITU, ITUC, NGOs, LEAS, LEA, LAS, Observer, Mercosur, MIGA, MINERSO, Minister, MONUSCO, NAM, Observer, NSC, OAS, OECD, Enhanced Engagement, OPNAL, OPCW, Paris Club, Associate, Seeker, Observer, UN, UNASA, UNTAD, UNESCO, UNFASIP, UNHCR, UNIDO, UNIFIL, Union Latina, UNISFA, UNITAR, UNMIL, UNMIS, UNOC, UNWE, UNUTO, UPU, UCO, UF2, NGOs, WHO, WIPO, UMO, RUTO. Diplomatic representation in the US, Chief of Mission, Ambassador Sergio Silva do Amaral, since the 16th of September 2016. Chancery, 3006 Massachusetts Avenue Northwest, Washington, D.C. 2008. Telephone, 1-202-238-2700. Fax, 1-202-238-2827. Consulates General, Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, Hartford, C.T., Houston, Los Angeles, Miami, New York, San Francisco, Washington, D.C. Diplomatic representation from the U.S. Chief of Mission. Ambassador Michael McKinley. Since the 19th of December 2016. Embassy. Avenida das Nacos, Quadra 801, Lot 3, Distrito Federal Sep 70403 to 900, Brasilia. Mailing address. Unit 7500, Po, AA 34030. Telephone. 55, 61. 3,312 to 7,000. Fax. 55, 61, 3,225 to 9,136. Consulates General. Recife, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo. Flag description. Green with a large yellow diamond in the center bearing a blue celestial globe with 27 white five-pointed stars. The globe has a white equatorial band with the motto Ordem Mi Progresso, Order and Progress. The current flag was inspired by the banner of the former Empire of Brazil, 1822-1889, on the imperial flag, the green represented the house of Braganza of Pedro I, the first emperor of Brazil, while the yellow stood for the Habsburg family of his wife, 
On the modern flag the green represents the forests of the country and the yellow rhombus its mineral wealth, the diamond shape roughly mirrors that of the country, the blue circle and stars, which replaced the coat of arms of the original flag, depict the sky over Rio de Janeiro on the morning of the 15th of November 1889, the day the Republic of Brazil was declared. The number of stars has changed with the creation of new states and has risen from an original 21 to the current 27, one for each state and the federal district. Note. One of several flags where a prominent component of the design reflects the shape of the country. Other such flags are those of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Eritrea, and Vanuatu. National symbol, S, Southern Cross constellation, national colors, green, yellow, Blue. National anthem. Name. Emo National Brasileiro, Brazilian National Anthem. Lyrics slash music. Joaquim Osrio Duque Estrada, Francisco Manuel de Silva. Note. Music adopted 1890, lyrics adopted 1922. The anthem's music, composed in 1822, was used unofficially for many years before it was adopted. Economy. Brazil. Economy. Overview. Brazil is the eighth largest economy in the world but is recovering from a recession in 2015 and 2016 that ranks as the worst in the country's history. In 2017, Brazil's GDP grew 1%, inflation fell to historic lows of 2.9%, and the central bank lowered benchmark interest rates from 13.75% in 2016 to 7%. The economy has been negatively affected by multiple corruption scandals involving private companies and government officials including the impeachment and conviction of former President Dilma Rousseff in August 2016. Sanctions against the firms involved, some of the largest in Brazil, have limited their business opportunities, producing a ripple effect on associated businesses and contractors but creating opportunities for foreign companies to step into what had been a closed market. The succeeding Timor administration has implemented a series of fiscal and structural reforms to restore credibility to government finances. Congress approved legislation in December 2016 to cap public spending. Government spending growth had pushed public debt to 73.7% of GDP at the end of 2017, up from over 50% in 2012. The government also boosted infrastructure projects, such as oil and natural gas auctions, in part to raise revenues. Other economic reforms, proposed in 2016, aim to reduce barriers to foreign investment, and to improve labor conditions. Policies to strengthen Brazil's workforce and industrial sector, such as local content requirements, have boosted employment, but at the expense of investment. Brazil is a member of the common market of the South, Mercosur, a trade bloc that includes Argentina, Paraguay and Uruguay. Venezuela's membership in the organization was suspended in August 2017. After the Asian and Russian financial crises, Mercosur adopted a protectionist stance to guard against exposure to volatile foreign markets and it currently is negotiating free trade agreements with the European Union and Canada. GDP, purchasing power parity, $3.248 trillion. $3.216 trillion. $3.332 trillion. Note. Data were in 2017 dollars. Country comparison to the world. 8. GDP. Official exchange rate 2.055 trillion dollars. GDP real growth rate 1 percent. Minus 3.5 percent. Minus 3.5 percent. Country comparison to the world 182. GDP per capita. PPP 15,600 dollars. 15,600 dollars. 16,300 dollars. 16, Note. Data are in 2017 dollars. Country comparison to the world. 108. Gross national saving. Gross national saving is derived by deducting final consumption expenditure, household plus government, from gross national disposable income, and consists of personal saving, plus business saving, the sum of the capital consumption allowance and retained business profits, plus government saving, the excess of tax revenues over expenditures but excludes foreign saving, the excess of imports of goods and services over exports. The figures are presented as a percent of GDP. A negative. More gross national saving field listing. 15% of GDP. 14.1% of GDP. 14.1% of GDP. Country comparison to the world. 136. GDP. Composition. 
by end use. Household consumption, 63.4%. Government consumption, 20%. Investment in fixed capital, 15.6%. Investment in inventories, minus 0.1%. Exports of goods and services, 12.6%. Imports of goods and services, minus 11.6%. GDP, composition, by sector of origin, agriculture, 6.6%. Industry, 20.7%. Services, 72.7%. Agriculture, products, coffee, soybeans, wheat, rice, corn, sugarcane, cocoa, citrus, beef. Industries, textiles, shoes, chemicals, cement lumber, iron ore, tin, steel, aircraft, motor vehicles and parts, other machinery and equipment. Industrial production growth rate, 0%. Country comparison to the world, 169. Labor force, 104.2 million. Country comparison to the world, 5. Labor force, by occupation. Agriculture, 9.4%. Industry, 32.1%. Services, 58.5%. Unemployment rate, 12.8%. 11.3%. Country comparison to the world, 165. Population below poverty line. National estimates of the percentage of the population falling below the poverty line are based on surveys of subgroups, with the results weighted by the number of people in each group. Definitions of poverty vary considerably among nations. For example, rich nations generally employ more generous standards of poverty than poor nations. Population below poverty line field listing. 4.2%. Note. Approximately 4% of the population are below the extreme poverty line. Household income or consumption by percentage share. Data on household income or consumption come from household surveys. The results adjusted for household size. Nations use different standards and procedures in collecting and adjusting the data. Surveys based on income will normally show a more unequal distribution than surveys based on consumption. The quality of surveys is improving with time, yet caution is still necessary in making inter-country comparisons. Household income or consumption by percentage share field listing. Lowest 10%. 0.8%. Highest 10%. 43.4%. Distribution of family income. Gini index. 49. 54. Country comparison to the world. 19. Budget. Revenues. 733.7 billion. Expenditures. 756.3 billion. Taxes and other revenues. 35.7% of GDP. Country comparison to the world. 57. Budget surplus, plus, or deficit, dash, minus 1.1% of GDP. Country comparison to the world. 82. Public debt, 84% of GDP. 78.4% of GDP. Country comparison to the world. 32. Fiscal year, calendar year. Inflation rate, consumer prices, 3.4%. 8.7%. Country comparison to the world. 139. Central bank discount rate. 7%. 13.75%. The 31st of December 2016. Country comparison to the world. 48. Commercial bank prime lending rate. 46.92%. 52.1%. Country comparison to the world. 2. Stock of narrow money. $110.3 billion. 106.7 billion dollars country comparison to the world 35 stock of broad money 110.3 billion dollars 106.7 billion dollars country comparison to the world 35 stock of domestic credit 2.206 trillion dollars 2.138 trillion dollars Country comparison to the world. 12. Market value of publicly traded shares. $642.5 billion. $561.1 billion. $420 billion. Country comparison to the world. 18. Current account balance. Minus $9.762 billion. Minus $23.55 billion. Country comparison to the world. 190. Exports. 217.2 billion dollars. 184.5 billion dollars. Country comparison to the world. 26. Exports. Partners. China 21.8%. US 12.5%. Argentina 8.1%. Netherlands 4.3%. Exports. Commodities. 
transport equipment, iron ore, soybeans, footwear, coffee, automobiles. Imports, $153.2 billion. $139.4 billion. Country comparison to the world. 29. Imports, commodities, machinery, electrical and transport equipment, chemical products, oil, automotive parts, electronics. Imports, partners. China 18.1%. US 16.7%, Argentina 6.3%, Germany 6.1%. Reserves of foreign exchange in gold, $374 billion. $367.5 billion. Country comparison to the world, 10. Debt, external, $547.4 billion. $548.6 billion. Country comparison to the world. 21. Stock of direct foreign investment at home. $778.3 billion. $703.3 billion. Country comparison to the world. 14. Stock of direct foreign investment abroad. $358.9 billion. $341.5 billion. Country comparison to the world. 19. Exchange rates. Reals. BRL. Per US dollar. 3.19. 348 3.4901 3.3315 2.3535 Energy Brazil Electricity access Population without electricity 800,000 Electrification Total population 99.5% Electrification Urban areas 100% Electrification Rural areas 97% Electricity Production 567.9 billion Country comparison to the world. 8. Electricity. Consumption. 509.1 billion kWh. Country comparison to the world. 8. Electricity. Exports. 219 million. Country comparison to the world. 73. Electricity. Imports. 41.31 billion kWh. Country comparison to the world. 3. Electricity. Installed generating capacity. 150.8 million. Country comparison to the world. 7. Electricity. From fossil fuels. 17% of total installed capacity. Country comparison to the world. 197. Electricity. From nuclear fuels. 1% of total installed capacity. Country comparison to the world. 28. Electricity. From hydroelectric plants. 64% of total installed capacity. Country comparison to the world. 24. Electricity from other renewable sources. 18% of total installed capacity. Country comparison to the world. 46. Crude oil. Production. 2.622 million barrel. Day. Country comparison to the world. 10. Crude oil. Exports. 736,600 barrels slash day. Country comparison to the world. 17. Crude oil. Imports, 297,700 barrel, day. Country comparison to the world. 25. Crude oil, proved reserves, 12.63 billion bl. Country comparison to the world. 14. Refined petroleum products, production, 2.811 million barrel, day. Country comparison to the world. 7. Refined petroleum products, consumption, 2.956 million bl. Slash day. Country comparison to the world. 7. Refined petroleum products. Exports. 279,000 barrel. Day. Country comparison to the world. 28. Refined petroleum products. Imports. 490,400 barrels slash day. Country comparison to the world. 17. Natural gas. Production. 23.96 billion cubic meters. Country comparison to the world. 29. Natural gas consumption. 34.35 billion QM. Country comparison to the world. 28. Natural gas. Exports. 134.5 million cubic meters. Country comparison to the world. 48. Natural gas imports. 10.51 billion QM. Country comparison to the world. 26. Natural gas. Proved reserves, 377.4 billion cubic meters. Country comparison to the world, 34. Carbon dioxide emissions from consumption of energy, 513.8 million. Country comparison to the world, 13. Communications, Brazil. Telephones, fixed lines. Total subscriptions, 40,878,018. Subscriptions per 100 inhabitants, 20. 
country comparison to the world. 5. Telephones, mobile cellular, total subscriptions. 236,488,548. Subscriptions per 100 inhabitants. 114. Country comparison to the world. 5. Telephone system. General assessment. Good working system including an extensive microwave radio relay system and a domestic satellite system with 64 earth stations. For major mobile operators offering a range of voice and data services, one of the largest broadband markets in Latin America, broadband penetration only behind Chile, Argentina, and Uruguay, country is a pioneer in the region for M-commerce, electronic commerce conducted on mobile phones. Domestic Fixed line connections have remained relatively stable in recent years and stand at about 20 per 100 persons. Less expensive mobile cellular technology has been a major impetus broadening telephone service to the lower income segments of the population with mobile cellular teledensity roughly 114 per 100 persons. International Country code minus 55, landing point for a number of submarine cables, including Americas 1, Americas 2, Atlantis 2, Globan 8, South America 1, South American Crossing slash Latin American Nautilus and UNICEF that provide direct connectivity to South and Central America, the Caribbean, the US, Africa, and Europe, satellite Earth stations minus 3 Intelsat, Atlantic Ocean, 1 in Marsat, Atlantic Ocean region east, connected by microwave relay system to Mercosur Brazil Sat B3 satellite Earth station, Brazil is connected through submarine cables to the USA, Central and South America, and the Caribbean. Satellites is a major communication platform, as it is almost impossible to lay fiber optic cable in the thick vegetation. Broadcast media State-run Radio Bras operates a radio and a TV network. More than 1,000 radio stations and more than 100 TV channels operating, mostly privately owned, private media ownership highly concentrated. Internet country code. Dot. Internet users. Total. 122,841,218. Percent of population. 59.7 percent. Country comparison to the world. 4. Broadband. Fixed subscriptions. Total. 28,670,016. Subscriptions per 100 inhabitants. 14. Country comparison to the world. 6. Transportation. Brazil. National Air Transport System. Number of registered air carriers. 9. Inventory of registered aircraft operated by air carriers. 443. Annual passenger traffic on registered air carriers. 102,039,359. Annual freight traffic on registered air carriers. 149.393 million. Civil aircraft registration country code prefix. PP. Airports. 4093. Country comparison into the world. Two. Airports, with paved runways, total. 698. Over 3,047 meters. 7. 2,438 to 3,047 meters. 27. 1,524 to 2,437 meters. 179. 914 to 1,523 meters. 436. Under 914 meters. 49. Airports. With unpaved runways, total 3,395, 1,524 to 2,437 meters, 92, 914 to 1,523 meters, 1,619, under 914 meters, 1,684, heliports. 13, pipelines, 5,959 kilometers refined petroleum product. 1,165 kilometers distribution, 4,794 kilometers transport, 11,696 kilometers natural gas, 2,274 kilometers distribution, 9,422 kilometers transport, 1,985 kilometers crude oil distribution, 77 kilometers ethanol slash petrochemical, 37 kilometers distribution, 40 kilometers transport. Railways, total 29,850 kilometers. Standard gauge 194 kilometers 1.435 M gauge. Narrow gauge 23,341.6 M gauge. 24 kilometers electrified. Broad gauge 5,822.3 M gauge. 498.3 kilometers electrified.
Dual gauge. 492 kilometers 1.600 minus 1.000 M gauge. Country comparison to the world. 9. Roadways, waterways, 50,000 kilometers, most in areas remote from industry and population. Country comparison to the world. 3. Merchant marine. Merchant marine may be defined as all ships engaged in the carriage of goods, or all commercial vessels, as opposed to all non military ships, which excludes tugs, fishing vessels, Offshore oil rigs, etc. Total 775. By type Bulk carrier 20, container ship 18, general cargo 48, oil tanker 38, other 651. Country comparison to the world 28. Ports and terminals Major seaport, S. Billum, Paranagua, Rio Grande, Rio de Janeiro, Santos, São Sebastião, Tubarão. Oil terminal, S. DTSE slash Jegu Oil Terminal, Ilha Grande, Jebig, Guebu Island Terminal, Guimer Oil Terminal, Container Port, S. Chis, Santos, 3,393,593. LNG Terminal, S. Import, Pesum, Rio de Janeiro, River Port, S. Manos, Amazon, Dry Bulk Cargo Port, S. Sepatiba or Terminal, Tubarão. Military and security. Brazil. Military expenditures. 1.32% of GDP. 1.36% of GDP. 1.33% of GDP. 1.33% of GDP. 1.38% of GDP. Country comparison to the world. 88. Military branches. Brazilian Army. Exercito Brasileiro. Ep. Brazilian Navy. Marina do Brasil. MB. Includes Naval Air and Marine Corps, Corpo de Fusileros Navais, Brazilian Air Force, Falcon Air Brasilera, FAB. Military service age and obligation. 18 to 45 years of age for compulsory military service. Conscript service obligation is 10 to 12 months. 17 to 45 years of age for voluntary service. An increasing percentage of the ranks are long service, volunteer professionals. Women were allowed to serve in the armed forces beginning in early 1980s. When the Brazilian Army became the first army in South America to accept women into career ranks, women serve in Navy and Air Force only in Women's Reserve Corps. Transnational Issues Brazil Disputes International Uncontested boundary dispute between Brazil and Uruguay over Brasileira, Brasileira Island in the Quarai, Caraim River leaves the trip point with Argentina in question. Smuggling of firearms and narcotics continues to be an issue along the Uruguay-Brazil border. Colombian organized illegal narcotics and paramilitary activities penetrate Brazil's border region with Venezuela. Refugees and internally displaced persons. Refugees. Country of origin. 103,636. Venezuela. Economic and political crisis. Includes Venezuelans who have claimed asylum or have received alternative legal stay. Stateless persons 294. 